We the actually ask him again. I mean, I mean, like you can ask whatever you want, Joe, but I'm not going to stop you ever, bro. We've been having some riling in the comments, them yelling at us. You're scared to talk about motors and cheap gems and blah, 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 blah. Everyone needs to relax because that stuff is coming soon. I promise. Yeah. I promise. We, we will have that chat inevitably and eventually. All right, I will ask you that. So, Boris, so what, what is the origin of your name? I, there's two versions of your name that I've seen on different, like, the platforms, Brodry and Boris. Uh, what, what's, what's the deal with those? Uh, Brodry 4, that was my old uh, university username. Let's when, I started, when I started my YouTube channel, mainly just for watching videos, like way before I started making videos. That's pretty cool. My school email. <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> <do something. laughs> cut right in, man, because that's podcastable. And speaking of podcasts, what's going on, guys? Oh Welcome God. back to episode <laughs> seven of Good, Great, Perfect. I'm your man, Captain Puppy, the host that everyone loves. We all know it's true. I'm the number one host. <laughs> I'm the best person in the podcast. I'm here joined Jesus. by my esteemed co-host, Joba. What's going on, man? How's it going? Good, good, good. We got Toski again. We out here today. Let's go. Here. And my Let's man, Nightmare up. JP. What's poppin', boys? Let's hey. get it. Unfortunately, no cob, no deal today. Those boys are working their asses off. That's a big upset for everyone because, you know, those two are the biggest voices when <laughs> it comes to the podcast itself. So the rest of us are going to have to step up our games and, you know, make some headway without those boys. But, you know, first and foremost, I want to say thanks to everyone that's been supporting the podcast. We just hit 500 subscribers on the YouTube channel, which is honestly amazing. And it's pretty Good astounding. Stuff. Good stuff. Um, oh, we also hit a thousand plays on Anchor, which is like bewildering because we as a group kind of like upload these to Anchor. And like, we don't really like look towards it. We're just like, oh, okay, it's cool. It's another platform. We can get our podcast out there. <laughs> But the mm. fact that we hit a thousand players or just over a thousand players on anchor as well is pretty cool as well. Yeah. People are listening yeah. and it's it's actually really awesome. Especially That's like cool. if you if you overlay that with YouTube channel views as well, like it's really awesome that you guys are supporting the the podcast. 100%. And like it obviously motivates us to like do it more often. So yes. we appreciate it. But speaking on that, before we before we introduce the main reason why we're all here today, I want to propose a challenge to everyone that watches the podcast. And you guys haven't been warned about this, although we've discussed it before. We have a goal of wanting to hit 1,000 subscribers at some point. Either like I would I would hope to go we can hit it by maybe midway next year would be the would be like so perfect. I feel like we've had a bit of discussion and I think when we hit a thousand subscribers, we will live stream one app of the podcast. I feel like that's a definite, a definite goal. And I think that our people would enjoy that because it will be a live interaction between <laughs> us and uh, the viewers. Yeah. And that's a cool reward. Um, yeah. yeah, for sure. And once we hit a thousand subscribers as well, we might change some things up in terms of how often we record the podcast. So don't leave that stuff waiting. Make sure you subscribe. And keep watching, keep liking, keep doing all those things. Leave more questions down below as well. But we're all here for one main reason today. We have the man, the myth, the legend. He pretty much started it all. We have Boris. He's hey. finally here, guys. We finally <laughs> got him in. He has a bit of free time. What's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. Today's my off day, so I'm just relaxing. It's one off day. You know, he rarely gets them. He, he's decided to spend it with us, so we're very appreciative of that. It's all good. Sweet ad. So, for anyone yeah. who doesn't know Boris, please. Well, if you don't know Boris, what are you doing? Yeah. That is get really educated. Like, you need to get educated. Are, are you some kind of OPTC noob or something? Yeah. What are you? Doing? Are you <laughs> yeah, I started last yeah. week, and uh, Captain Poppy uh, yeah. asked me to. Uh, but uh, so essentially, uh, back in the day when the game first came out, I decided to start making videos on on the game just to. Kind of help people out and uh people really liked the videos i didn't expect that uh, at the time my channel was pretty small uh but then like those videos started doing really well like oh okay this is kind of cool <laughs> and then i started to um, help other people uh get uh make videos you guys might remember thank hello thank hello oh, oh, OG. Uh -huh. yeah it was before my time of, og yeah, whale og guys like band-aid Guys, Yo. Oh, man's uh, dropping OG names, bro. For real. <laughs> Yo, this is the, this is the, this this podcast is gonna be a pretty much a big history lesson as well for all the people that have jumped into the game quite recently. There are a lot of names you might throw out randomly that people yeah, I can, don't I can know tell anything some stories, about. Actually, I have some yeah, stories sure. from back in the day. Like, uh, so I mentioned Band Aid. He was 
like I'd say he was the first big OPTC streamer. This is back when I was just doing videos. And uh, uh, the cool thing about him was he was one of the first guys to refill his stamina, which at the oh. time I thought was really like, <laughs> what are you doing? You're spending Very a inefficient. gem. Why is a gem? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Gems to farm. Um, and so uh, I actually learned a lot through him, actually. He's the guy who actually got me to start JP because he, uh, he figured Damn. out how to how to download and play it and um and uh yeah so he i the next day i i tried it and uh, i pretty much that's been my jp accounts and back then yeah because before treasure cruise you were doing like just one piece manga theories yeah and, i was yeah, kind of just i had um, actually i was part of like the anime community kind of like i had um like that king recon some of the other guys we do a weekly podcast actually as well Mm. Uh, called the Anime Justice League back in the day. Damn, we we so, really going back in time right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we would just talk about the like you know Parasite and the Tokyo Ghoul was popular at the time. We talk about One Piece, Naruto. Uh, but now once the once the Treasure Cruise stuff started doing well, I was like, oh wow. And so then at that point, I had to like there was no gotchas at the time besides maybe no, Pokemon not really. Dragon. So I kind of had to think of all these new ways to make videos. And, and so I would look at uh, some of the J Japanese guys, like uh, Mugiwara Josh, I think was his name. Yeah, Takashi. Yeah, Takashi yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, was, was the guy. Yeah, and I would kind of say, oh, okay. Like, I could try to pick up some tips from those guys and uh, kind of do my own thing too. And For sure. now there's like hundreds. You can choose you know, your favorite anime from which has a gacha game. I got you, yeah, game, pretty much. So it's kind of cool. So, rip to um, Hunter Hunter Battle All Stars. Oh, <laughs> yes. No. yes. So oh, no. game. So bad. oh, dude. Feels yeah. bad, man, for that. <laughs> oh, sure. All right. Oh, God. Well, let's get into like, yeah, what well, we're going to be talking about today. So, yeah, dude, so we're, much we're, news. We're, there's so much has been dropping recently. And like we said before, I think. Amongst us, we decided we want to continue the discussion format because it's just a lot funner for us because we actually get to discuss and joke around and have a lot more fun in our, like, while we're recording these rather than just being heartfelt going straight through the news. So we're going to keep that up for now on the podcast. But do please let us know in the comments on Twitter if you'd like or you don't like or whatever the case yeah, any, is. Any feedback is good. By all means, please. Um, if, you want to, if you want us to keep Job off the show, please let us know. We can, <laughs> no, we can, no, no, that. We can make it. We can make it happen by all means. <laughs> they can hate me. I just don't want to know. <laughs> all right, but we want to get into the JP 9.5 update. Not a lot of news dropped on that, but we're there. There have been a few really important things that have come out about that. So we want to get into that a little Actually, bit. Actually, something that's not on the list that um, I was like... Yeah, because it says like new features and stuff. I was like over on the Japanese website before and I just translated some of it. Ooh. It did say something about um finding friends would be easier. I don't know what it means by that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Like we, finding friend captains or something might be a bit can, easier. Like they're changing the functionality of that. Interesting. We can get into that I for wish, sure. I wish we had that function in real life. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This, <laughs> oh, <guy. yeah. laughs> this, man's, this man's depressed, bro. Um, with with Cyber Koala dropping on Global, we want to have a discussion between Cyber Koala versus uh, Luffy Law. Who, who, who takes the cake, talk about their batches, what their sewer fests are like, all that kind of good stuff. Um, we also want to dive into a little bit about sockets, limit breaking, and support. With the recent glitch on Global that had the rare units have six sockets, we kind of thought like there could be an interesting discussion point in terms of what would it be like if you know we got units, legends, or whatever it is, have more sockets, and how would that work out? Um, talk about things like, how we can alter supports maybe, or maybe a new kind of limit break support socket system in the future. And then finally, uh, we want to go into uh, Neo content. So basically like the reskinning of raids. Uh, shout out to Zistance for giving us that discussion topic. I think it was really good. I wanted to bring it in. And then finally, we're going to get to a little bit more of a QA and a with Boris and uh, have some questions from you guys. But without further ado, I want to ask Boris. Yes. The real question that everyone has been wondering when are we getting more videos from you? <laughs> uh, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I don't even know what videos I would make. Or, you know, I guess let me know what you would want to see. There you go, guys. Blow up his Twitter. Blow it up. Yeah. Well, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people would probably want to know, like, why aren't you making videos? Like, what, what are you doing? Yeah, let us yeah, know. Well, well, I can answer that. Give us, that. Give us tell yeah. us everything. I'm going to sit back and relax. You take the show, man. I want to yeah, hear what's going on with Boris's life right now. 
so like you guys were saying earlier, mainly it's a few factors. First time, uh, though I, I only have two days off, which I guess is normal for people. But the problem is during the weekdays, I get home at like 9 to 10 at night, sometimes 11. Yeah. And I can stay up late, but the problem is that I can't make noise at night because mm. Japanese apartments are really thin walls. So I have, if I have to record, I'd have to wake up really early uh, to record. And then the other problem is that I don't have a desk. <laughs> I'm using a cardboard <laughs> box. Oh, man. As the, I don't really have a setup because right I don't know if I'm going to move soon to a new apartment. So I don't want to invest right now. In yeah, fair enough. Video. But uh, I, I, have, I did try to record a few videos. But the problem is my lighting in this apartment is really bad. Mm. Uh, and uh, so maybe I'm thinking about recording outside or something at a park. Maybe doing something mm-hmm. like that. But like speaking of all these new places, where are you right now, Boris? For people that actually don't know, where the, where the hell in the world are you right now, Boris? Let them know. I'm in, I'm in Japan. I'm He's in, in Japan. It's crazy. He's living the weeb dream. He's living the yes. life. Everyone's <laughs> dream of living in Japan. He's doing it. Step yes. down did it. I, what are you? I, if you don't mind, you know, going into a bit further. What are you like? What are you doing in Japan? What's your work? What kind of job are you doing? Uh, I'm you know? just doing like a basic like English teaching job. Nothing too, um, nothing too complicated. Uh, nice. Pretty much uh, in the U.S. If you live in the U.S., you just need a bachelor's degree. So finish university. Job up. You can get a job now. You got a master's even. Yeah. So man. oh, you got a master's. Wow. Hurry Thank up. You. <laughs> get, it's hard get, out a, there. get a job man <laughs> get a, dude i'll go teach english in japan that's not even what i studied but I'll go i don't want college. you to go to japan i don't trust oh, you it would be man, cool I though could... honestly <laughs> oh, be yeah so cool. it's um and, for, and the math is the, the same in all the languages yeah that's for one true. year it's not a bad experience at all you get to experience what it's like living in a different country and i mean japan is probably the most convenient country in the world 100%. And maybe the safest. So I mean, yeah, I can yeah. walk around here, and even though I'm a foreigner, I still feel pretty safe. Like, hundred percent, for sure. I never feel da- even the dangerous areas don't feel dangerous to me mm. after living in the U.S. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's it's great. I'm really enjoying it. Like, uh, kind of. Oh, like, do you mind saying which region you're in? Uh, I'm I don't in, know. If you... I'd rather not say exactly where, yeah. but I'm in. Uh, All right. Yeah. West West Tokyo. Well, okay, West. All right, dope. So still right, Tokyo. West. The Tokyo's Kraken, like that place, it just has everything, like basically, like at your doorstep a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah. You like even though I'm West Tokyo, I can still just take a train. Yeah, to that's the best Shinjuku part about Japan. And 30, 40 you ever, minutes. Yeah. You ever go to Akiba, which is like yeah, the, I've been there a few the, times. The Otaku Central, as I understand it. Yeah, I've been there a few times. Main, not by myself, mainly to meet with friends. So we'll hang out. Went to the Gundam Cafe. Oh yeah, yeah. Went yeah. Uh, oh, because you met him with uh with Nick, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, so I guess yeah. I, I, if you guys probably don't know, but I've actually met up with uh, Nick, which is the community manager. Really? For OPTC. I met him back in September, I want to say, and we talked for like two or three hours. Uh, so Boris has had the plugs for so long. He could have helped us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He could have helped us, but he had the scoop. He had the scoop. He didn't say. Yeah, I, I, I knew. Like for example, I knew about a few things. Uh, they're already out. It's on global already. So I guess I could. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. So what what did you find out about beforehand? If well, I mean, he, he just dropped some teasers like you know Kazuna or stuff like that, and uh, he, yeah. mainly I was giving him feedback as to what to do and stuff like that. He seems like some questions. Yeah. I asked him some other questions that you know I can't go too much into detail about, but mainly we just uh, talked about. Uh, I asked him like how he got started and how did, how did he get into being a community manager of Bandai. We talked about Gundam. We talked about other anime and. Uh, and yeah, I definitely gave him some feedback for both global and Japan. Nice. Yeah. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully, you know. And I feel like that, like all that feedback, especially like going back to the Rose episode as well, where he actually met them at the Anime Expo as well. All that feedback is actually getting um, taken yes. in and is being reflected in the game, you know? So like yeah. hats off to them for actually like listening to the community a lot of the time. So Even though I'd we, com- say, we uh, complain a lot, but they do ask like they do do what we um we ask them to yeah if i came away with two big things from that meeting it was um one is that actually he's he's working very hard him and um try, there's there's two guys i'm trying chris. sorry I forgot to get yeah, chris, yeah, chris, chris yeah. and nick they're both uh, they're actually working a lot harder than i thought hmm. so don't think that they're like not trying they're really trying to to bring cool things to, to global uh and the yeah. other thing is that uh, yeah i mean not you know just like any company not everything is in their control yeah, uh, you know, you always have to 
have clearance for certain things from the higher ups to do certain. Yeah, because that's the thing a lot of people don't understand is like they're only community managers. They're not developers. They're not like producers or anything. Yeah, else exactly. Yeah, 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 they're just just like any they're job, just the right? Face yeah. That everyone sees. They seem and, to be more on our side than you know. Yeah. Than, oh, yeah, uh, exactly. yeah, exactly. That, that's that's what they, they're looking that's after us, which is what's point. important. Yes, yeah. they're trying to look after the community at all, and they're working really hard at it. Yes. So all please right, get that in mind. To everyone that complains of the game, we all yes. do. Please, please. But keep that in mind that they're working their asses off to make our experience a lot better. And we do appreciate all the work that they do for us. Yeah. I mean, they yeah, shout us out for God's yeah. sake at the live event. Yeah, yeah, they <laughs> shout like, us out. What, yes. what, like, you know, shouting out Todd, Zine, you know, Boris, all those guys. Yeah, they're, they're big figureheads in the community. You know, but Good Great Perfect, we're just some rad tad podcasts with like a bunch of nobodies in tow. So we like, only started. We only had like three episodes at the we time. Had three or four, we, had, we had four apps because we had. Was it four? I can't even know. Three apps. You're right. Yeah, because Rose's app was the third app. We had three apps at the time they shout us out. So, like, they do listen. Like, they are listening. They're probably snooping around on Reddit. They might be in some Discord somewhere. Who the hell knows? But in reality, we do appreciate all the work yes. that they do for us. So maybe, oh, man, I hope they're be, not in Dynasty. <laughs> oh, yeah, please maybe not. just be kind. Try to be kind yes, towards them. Yes, yes. Because be they're working really hard. Yeah, 100%. The last thing you want to do is discourage them from keeping up with them, all everything they're doing. You know? For yeah. sure. I think one one other question is: Are you still playing over TC? Like, you still keeping that up, maintaining well, that? I, I was I was playing every day, but uh, last week I decided I was going to save my gems for a, a New Year Sega. But then I I saved the pull? fourth. Yeah, I pulled and I got zero <laughs> zero new units from. Oh months. no, um, <laughs> Boris! Yeah, that, man. Taking a <laughs> taking a quick uh, break, maybe for like another few days. Or something. And the book That's battle right. though looks cool. I definitely will be. Yeah, we have. Oh my god, I didn't even write that in the list. There's, yeah. I don't, there's a blitz battle on JP. So like that's. Yeah. That's pretty interesting too. But so I'll be hopping back on with that story. Yes, sir. All right, let's get into this. This is, looks like Good. a juicy app. All right, JP nine point five update. We don't know when it's coming out. We don't know like a lot about it, but at the moment we have a few things. First of all, a ton of new units getting support abilities. Uh, speaking of legends though, V1 Rayleigh, Sengoku. Log Luffy, the GOAT, the best unit in the Ooh. game. Croc, Inu, and El Capone. All getting supports alongside a bunch of um, all the Strong World straw hats. Three Day Two Wire straw hats. Ton of units getting these uh, limit break abilities. Even Fortnites and Raids, sorry, are getting support abilities too. A bunch of them. So the tre Treasure map units. Treasure map units as well, which is, I think, probably the biggest thing we want to talk about. Like, how do you guys think that will distribute this whole support network with the treasure map units. You think people they're going to have to force people to buy them with blue tickets, or they're going to give them as rewards? What are we thinking? Yeah, so if they all, do, they, the, they better um, give us a lot. First of yeah. all, the the update will go live on the twenty fifth of November. There you go. We mm. have. Um, yeah, as quite for the supports, uh, I do think it'll be blue tickets. I don't think they're just going to give away every single treasure map unit for free again. I just don't think that's going to happen. I think you'll no. have to spend your blue tickets, and you'll have to pick which support unit you're going to go for. Uh, I hope that when they do release these support abilities, that they're not just like, oh, 5% for stats, 10% for stats. That's cool and all, but a support ability that's similar to their special that supports a unit would be freaking That'd be really phenomenal. Cool. That'd be really cool, 100%. Because um, it's weird that they list that Halloween Boa isn't getting one. I don't understand why, but she's not getting one. Uh, and all the dual units do not get support abilities either. It'd be interesting, because mm -hmm. like, I, I, I personally could see them... like. What's the next uh, treasure map on JP, if we even know? It's the Robin, is it not? Or what we yeah, assume yeah, is the Robin. Robin. Yeah. yeah, the Robin, the the one o Robin, yeah. I, I feel like the way that like they could potentially distribute it is like, I, I don't know how many how many there were and like how many of the like TM units are getting it, but like I could see them dropping like a, a handful of them as rewards from, from the TM itself. Yeah, and maybe one of those plays. And then maybe from there that they could potentially just say blue tickets. But like, if you think about it, you need to spend 5,000 blue tickets on, no, 4,500 blue tickets per unit to get the max support. If you really think about it. Yeah, but you got to remember as well, the support units are not mandatory either. No, support so... is very, it's, it's not that often that you're like, that the support, like a support for a unit is like necessary. And um, what was I going to say? There well, are some, yeah, yeah, the fact that there's more blue tickets on JP as well compared to yes, yeah, yeah. Like I, I have a lot of blue tickets, and I've skipped a few 
yeah GMs. Um, so it, it's not going to be a big problem especially if you just maybe stick to buying one or two or maybe three that you really need mm. uh, then at that point you know you don't have to if you want to you can go ahead and get support on all of them but if you just want to wait until you need it just get one sure. or two before blue tickets they just gave out several copies of an old one right each time they gave out 50 did yeah. they not Oh, they did. No, yeah. it was it was like yeah, when it was like they would like oh. they would re-release the unit and the limit break materials. It's like fifty copies like that yeah. as well. Yeah, that'd, be, do that that'd be pretty nice if they do that again for us. That'd be cool. Honestly, it would help me. <laughs> yeah, for uh, sure. Max some of the ones that I haven't maxed yet. Too. I'm good on Nami. I have like six copies of it. <laughs> well, not how many blue chickens do you have? Have you got? Um, the, I you got a... the Garp as well. Yeah, I just bought the Garp. Um, this treasure map. I've Maxed him. How many are you so, uh, yeah. Um, I did use like a hundred and like forty k for that one. Okay. Well, like, yeah, and that's a person who plays very heavily as well. Yes. Yeah, so, I I think he yeah. came out when I was taking my break, and I came back. I'm like, oh, cool, Garp. No, you and need a hundred. Uh, <laughs> you need two hundred k. Yeah. Well, oops. <laughs> I'm like, okay, never <laughs> max again. Yeah, but when Garb first releases, they do increase the amount of tickets you get per treasure map. Uh, that's the point where they oh, enhance the amount yeah. of tickets you got. So Glo I think Global should be getting Garb either next treasure map or the one after. So look forward to that. Yeah. So um, don't necessarily save your tickets. Garp isn't. Yeah, all I mean, still at the end of the day, if you've got blue tickets, spend it to max the treasure map units. It's like you don't really have to worry about Garp. Yeah, much get, because... you, get your units done yeah. first. Get yeah, all your TMs at least maximum break. You don't have to rainbow them. Have all your TAM units maximum broken. Yeah. At minimum. Yeah. Some of them need saving. their limit break. Yes. A few of them do. That's for sure. But it just make sure you have all your units maximum broken. And then you can then you can start spending them how you like. Yeah. All right. Also, we have a few other things. So we're talking about a new color system is what I've heard as well. Yeah. So that's recently just came out literally <laughs> as of us recording this podcast today. News o'clock came around and... There's a whole bunch of stuff coming out. So on JP, they're having an overhaul of Colosseums where um, the cotton candy you get is now plus three instead of plus one, which is huge. Which is uh, very I don't know if I don't know if um, the golden cotton candy will be affected by that. Maybe maybe it's plus nine. Mm. I don't know. Maybe. Um, oh, so apparently something yeah. along the lines <laughs> something along the lines of uh, limit break materials specific to the character will be farmable. Mm -hmm. So very interesting. See, that's, I think, also worth a, like, a good chat about because how they're going to distribute that. So I think we, we have confirmed that it is specific limit break materials for those units. But now it's going to be like, how do they distribute it? Are they going to do it like drops just from running the actual uh, Coliseum itself? Are they going to do it based upon Trop Man missions? Because if it's on Trop Man missions, then you have to bring back those missions every time the color comes out. So people that couldn't farm it in the first place can do it. So I don't feel as if it's going to be child man missions. I no, feel like it's going to be drops based. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be drops. And if I remember correctly, there was something about Japan getting going to get another increase to scale ups soon at some point. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're getting it in nine point five. It's going yeah, from nine point five is eighteen a to thirty six percent. So maybe they said, okay, well, so double. You, know, you can max double. it faster, but now you have to farm limit break as well. Keep people spending. Wait, so you're saying, I'm actually you're saying, it out. I understand yeah. why they've done it. So, we go. Limit break, so you'll be able to get the unit guaranteed drop every run. The I think stage four, you'll get the guaranteed limit break crystal. And then the reason why they did plus three is because you get less chance for cotton candy because you get a limit break drop. That is true. All right. Yeah, and actually, they you heard, you heard, you heard, something, you heard it here first. They mentioned something as well that the skill books for the character are going to drop more often too. Ooh. So what, right. what do you, what do you guys think right. about what do you guys think about that then do do you feel like that's like obviously like inherently that is a good thing but do you do you feel like people are going to farm less do you feel like the I, I guess like the only reason people are going to farm now like those things is because of the limb break materials because I think what Knight just said was it's going from an eighteen to a thirty six percent chance for skill up like huge, it, yeah. you don't have to wait for two times pretty much anymore. If you farm like 30 copies of a unit, you're probably guaranteed, you're guaranteed at least 10 skill ups from that. So like- yeah. And, and, okay. and now in Japan, you get skill up every- Every week or something like that, is it not? Yeah, twice, twice every week. Yeah, every twice Friday. a week. See, that's that's crazy. Like, so- But it's something like they were removing it. Oh, 
Oh, I mean, it, it would make it would make sense to remove it and increase the base, oh, though. It would make sense. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's not a big deal. It's good I, I definitely won't complain about having to farm less. You know, we've been playing this game a long time. But farming, we we get a little bit burned out from farming too hard, yeah. personally. Mm-hmm. But how many? How how many? How many? Ooh, go for it, Todd. No, 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 no. I, was, I was gonna say this is interesting because will the liberate material be droppable on underground as well? That's what I'm thinking. I don't think mm-hmm. they would do that. Or they'll make it like if it's guaranteed on the highest one, then it won't be guaranteed on underground. Oh yeah, maybe it's so people will try to farm the chaos version and not the uh... yeah. Because yeah. most people that, that I've seen nowadays just farm underground because it's easier. Yeah. I personally and, don't like that, but yeah. and then you but like in the things with the underground, you get the guaranteed five copies of the unit yeah. as well to when so you start it farming it. So like. You know, it's 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 much faster, pretty much, to farm the underground. So maybe this is a way to say, hey, if you farm chaos, you can get plus three candies, and you can max the unit, and you can get the limit break which is guaranteed without having to like fuss around. Yeah, yeah. I think sense. I think I think the idea is that if if you can make a buggy team that can clear the underground, it and you have reasonable luck, it's more stamina efficient to do the underground. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Though with well, plus three cotton candy, and as as we said, with all these new buffs, chaos might be the wave. I mean, yeah. Chaos has been the wave, man. Yeah, yeah that's that the fact. Yeah, I've been the wave for uh, I hope that it's an actual addition to the character and not just, okay, the same as before, but now to max, to max it like before you have to limit break it. I hope it's an actual, like, an addition so they get maybe I wonder how many runs you'll have to do to get the... Oh, that's actually a good point. Like, maybe it's, maybe it's kind of like TM style where, like, the unit, the color unit, like, starts off really trash. Yeah, but exactly. like as you limit break it, and then you and you end up max limit breaking it, it becomes actually a good so unit. You're forced to limit break it. Essentially, yeah, like that. I guess that could like. I mean, that would make sense as well. Remember that limit break would only affect the captain ability and the actual abilities that they get from limit break. Special that wouldn't affect doesn't. their special. So the special. Oh, maybe cooldown. That could be a big. I think cooldown cool would be the big thing then. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting well, indeed. But you well, know, it is confirmed though that the next Coliseum on JP is a quick unit. So that is true. We can't see what it is though. Maybe it's Kobe <laughs> Helmeppo. Speaking. <laughs> of Kobe oh, Helmeppo. yo, that's facts. There anyway, we go. Real quick. Uh, I have a quick little uh, aside, real quick. So we were last last episode we were talking about uh, quality of life changes and talking about limit break materials. Uh, something that would be really nice is if they can increase the cap on the yes. amount of limit break materials that we could yes. carry. Because I don't know about you guys, but I like every TM. Uh, no matter how many units I limit break in between each TM, I still have like way too many materials. I can't even open my mails anymore. Mm-hmm. I, I just like it. Like I'd love no cap on the potion specifically, because that would, like because like I think at the end of the day, the hardest thing to get are the potions. I feel like when it comes to it, like you know, you can farm TM a lot and get a lot of limit break crystals and such, but the potions are usually um. Well, these intrusion battles kind of help with that. Yes, dude. Oh my god, yes. As long as you're farming, as long as you're playing, um, you get, you get a lot of potions. Yeah. Yes. But I would love to see people like Knight or people that go hard like Lay or like you know Rye and stuff. See how many limit break materials they'll just they'll just co- cool. like collect based upon just farming TM. Yeah, <laughs> also like Coruscant as well on the JP side. Minus yeah. 400, 400 runs of TM. You know, like yeah, increase the yeah. limit and then like introduce a character that needs like. A- Craft ton of yeah, like a, like a big boy, like a big boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah seven star gold D Roger. <laughs> well, then yeah. again, then they released um the Kizuna Zoro Sanji. Like he needed twelve million worth of potions. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That you know, but that's not the actual materials itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would really like once one of those like really big uh, tryhards hits like nine 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 of of a uh, one of the materials that they they make it like a different stack or something. That'd be really cool. Jesus. But all right, Kobe Helmeppo, what are they gonna do? Huge. I'm excited for that. I'm just thinking it's cool. I I think, I think oh, that was a good call in the Coliseum. I think that makes a lot of sense. Was really. it I think Knight Knight just said they guaranteed they um a raid, they confirmed raid or something. I think like that. Koala said that they're a raid. Yeah, no, he did. I, I think I read that. I think he didn't mention that they're a raid, which is odd because that is that we're getting Kobe Helmeppo and we might be getting a new colo as well. Which would actually be really cool. Two new pieces well, of content. Another thing as well is JP are due for a new legend. Oh. Because that is not they true. um the ace came out at the end of October. Well the start of like very, very start of November. It's yes. been nearly a month. So I really do like the fact that we are slowing down on these legend releases though. 
Like, yeah, so next podcast is like two new legends. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, please no. <laughs> no. It's a win for Legend Chopper. <laughs> oh no, not Legend. That's the that's a, Legend Chopper is slowly becoming the taboo subject as well. <laughs> <laughs> and he would have been perfect for this Captain Swap when that thing came out. He, he would have been perfect. the most yeah. ideal unit yeah. to introduce Captain uh, actions with. Yeah, and then they just kind of threw Captain actions into the garbage. Unfortunately. They don't just don't yeah, use it's all anymore. about dual units now. Yeah. Uh, I hate that personally. I feel like Captain's action was such an like it could have been so cool. It could have been so good as well. There'd been so much they could have done with it's it. It's like another missed opportunity with Captain Action was um with Jack, make him transform or something. But then they went, Oh, he's an EXP captain, which like we all like that he's an EXP. Hey, he's the best but... T Zero. Uh I mean Jack could probably get a V two. You never know. Okay, that's too soon. We don't need it. We don't need <laughs> yeah, it. Jack. Then again, there wasn't much room uh, between V1 and V2 Katakuri. There really wasn't. The kind yeah. of like, oh, here he is. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's you know, legend uh, Odin's going to be OP, man. Oh, dude. Oh, my Ooh, God. Uh, Odin. Spoilers, but oh, man, Bro, yeah. We go on there? Because that's... <laughs> if, he <laughs> is, if he isn't busted, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start Just in complaining. general, because I'm looking forward to New Year's. New Year's is when the OP yeah, level yeah, drops up. They have to drop something crazy. I'm so sad I spent all my gems, man. <laughs> you know, imagine if imagine if they just say "fuck the anime watchers," we're gonna release manga content, and they release. I mean, they did. It. I mean, they've Snake, done that before. Oh, yeah. Snake Man was before manga, before anime saw it. Yeah, yeah. which yeah. was everyone was like, "What is this?" It's like, ah, uh, we gotta go. <laughs> and they're like, "Oops." And they yeah, waited like, for Sulong. Like as soon as the Sulong episode aired, they mm-hmm. boom down drop, the yeah. immediate drop. Yeah, I like that they do that. Like it just it makes the character more hype, and pe- more people would want to pull for them. Yeah, yeah but Snake Man, they were like, nah. Watch the episode, right? And then they're like, hey, let me open up OPTC. And oh, and there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and what you said before, Boris, you said like, oh, you waste all your gems, but that's kind of like it's kind of understandable because like the legends have been releasing recently, have been kind of broken. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, and also I'm I'm missing a lot of legends from True, the, yeah. the hiatus. But I just I think in four multis I got one legend. <laughs> I'm not guaranteed. Oh. That's just that's just gross. Yeah. <laughs> and zero rare It's uh, it's all good though. I, you know, it's it's my fault. I should have just. Who did you get? Will. Yeah, who did you get? I don't remember. It's trash. That means no. It was a good legend. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Bullet. And uh, yeah. to be fair, I don't really need any. Like, I have a lot of the top tiers, like Stampede Luffy. I have Law. I got Stampede Lola. Luffy. Stampede Luffy slept on, yo. Yeah, like, Stamp- I use him for everything. He's, he's OP. so slept he's on. So OP, man. I, but I really sure. want. I still want Kata V two and Snake Man. I don't have those. Those are really. Oh really? Long. Okay. Oh. I still don't have Snake Man somehow. Wait, so you just don't have a V two G four? Yeah, I never pulled it. Ah oh, damn. Oh yeah. man. That's a rip. That's a rip. But speaking on Cyber Koala, global, we're finally getting Cyber Koala. But rather than just talking about Cyber Koala and Todd. Busting a nut on it, he thinks it's the best legend in the game. <laughs> let's have a let's like let's have a little debate, a little bit of discussion because last episode, Knight did mention that Luffy Law is still the best legend in JP. Oh, it's, but, it's actually oh, kind of fun. no, because I, I actually <laughs> I actually kind of agree with Luffy Law still being the best. Because uh, don't say that. I want to get nah, you on the dude, fight. I, I, <laughs> I recently, I like literally yesterday, I completed the GARP challenges on Global, and Luffy Law is just right, so good. Rub, rub it in more. Rub it in yeah, that hurts. I mean, it's it's not even just them. It's them on nah. top of like everything else, like V2 Katakuri, Bato Cavendish, yes, like yes. all those Honor characters on the same team. Dude, it's nuts. But I think we want to talk about Sabakwa versus Luffy Law. All right. You know, they like they, they like you know for global right now. I feel like the two best legends of the game, hands down. Like I no. don't. I feel like obviously you know, you have your V2 Kata who's still like one of the best Snake Man. Wako's still incredible. Snake Man's incredible. Carrot is still incredible as well. But I feel like at the current moment, like Saba Koala, Luffy Law. Snake Man got, third. Who you guys got? I think Luffy Law. They no, I, they each they each have different things that uh, make them. Yeah, that's know, true. Yeah, I, like, I, I, for I, example, I, I was comparing their specials, uh, for example, and you know Luffy Law he boosts orbs by a huge amount. So, so that's a really nice thing. However, a, a nor boost is not as good as an attack boost because you need orbs first and and he doesn't give orbs sabo and koala does give orbs which is really nice mm-hmm. and and they boost an attack for their own class now they're they're obviously just they boost two classes so that's a downside compared to luffy law yeah dude if they gave luffy law 
old manip and a two point and an old boost. He's like got it, that, kind that, of he that wouldn't be okay beneficial. though. He that would like, that would be disgusting. Like, like imagine yeah. if they gave him full board old manip and an old boost. Yeah, I think he makes Dex and quick orbs beneficial. Beneficial, yeah. Yeah, so he, he he has a little bit, but it's not totally usable. I think um, Cybercrawler would have a better special. Yeah, Cybercrawler would have, yeah. have a better special. 100%. Um, like, for the way that I've been like seeing it recently, because I've been using them a lot, I feel like for the like really difficult like end game content, Luffy Law are better. But for Colosseums, raids, all the generic stuff, Sabo and Koala, I feel, are more efficient. They can get mm-hmm. through it kind of faster um, because that type boost is just crazy. Plus, their switchability gives a color affinity, which is pretty nice. Which is actually busted. It's um, very they, broken. They completely get rid of despair off themselves as well when they switch, which is pretty good. I mean, Luffy Law going through barriers is very insane still as well. And the mm-hmm. two times attack boost themselves, like themselves switching two times attack boost, then use their special for the orb boost as well. And like you have that character that just does so much damage through defensive effects. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's a game breaking special. I mean, a game breaking ability. Yeah. <laughs> Go through barriers really and give yourself an attack boost and match them. It's pretty interesting because like Luffy Law is still like probably the best legend on JP side as well. Even though we've seen the likes of like Bullet come out, who is just like is busted. Yeah. I do want to say though, on on JP, like the, the meta is just so weird right now because you have like yeah, there's maybe a best legend, but to be honest, it really comes down to your support abilities now. Your support abilities, um, your subs. It's like a whole combination. Yeah. yeah. Like exactly. one of my best yeah. units, one of my best units on my account is limited rare recruit Tashigi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Their support abilities, OP. Same thing with Corazon. I use Corazon all the time. Corazon got a he's he's six plus probably the best buff he ever. Yeah, I use his yeah. um I use his support all the time. I use Soros support all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I said uh, before the podcast, um, before we started, uh, 20th Annie Frankie. Yeah, his, yep. his, his support is completely broken on Stampede Luffy. So really now it's like, okay, do you have the legend? Good. Do you have the appropriate supports? Yes. Well, that's okay, another thing as well. Because like, that's another thing that puts another thing with Luffy and Law is because it's Luffy and Law. You can add yes. some of the most OP support abilities yeah. to those characters. Exactly. You can mm-hmm. play Zone. Yeah, oh, Ivanka. Like there. Oh. yeah, Ivankov's crazy. Raid Zor, you can attach to Luffy Law. Exactly. So, like, so like uh, crazy. Col- Coliseum Opera. Yep. Yep. So, like, speaking yeah, of that, do we, like, obviously, like, you know, I think this meta shift's important because back in the day, you know, if you had Log Luffy, you were fine. I mean, and even <laughs> now, if you have Log Luffy, you're fine, right? <laughs> yeah, true. But, but, like, you know, do we, do you think this is better now? The fact that you it's not only just getting the legend, but you need the correct rare recruits, you need the correct limit breaks, the correct supports, or like do you think it's worse than what it was? What do we what do we think in terms of like this kind of a meta now? I think it's better personally. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah I think it's better. There's more variety more options. Than teams you can make. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, like the- up. yeah, you go not. Hmm? Not. Not, he oh, he I was just gonna say, like, when you like farm new content, it always builds up. So you farm, um, for example, like back in the day, you would farm Chopper, so you can beat Dofi, and it's just like a yep. never in cycle, which like helps yeah. improve your teams. Which I like that aspect. Yeah, hundred like percent. There was that period mm-hmm. uh, that we're going through for a long time, where it's like, oh, pull the new batch, you can beat the new content. Pull the new batch, beat the new content. That was the worst part of the game, I feel like. But if it's moving into yeah. a different period now, where it's like, oh, like there's all these OP legends out right now, all these OP supports and rare recruits, just build whatever you want for the new content, which is what mm-hmm. I would exactly. Prefer. Yeah, I've been having so much fun on Japan recently, just team building. Like when a new event comes out, yeah, oh, there's like okay, there's like so many options. Whereas before, like when I think when I stopped playing. You really only had like a, maybe two or three teams. Oh, Snake Man, Kata V2. Snake Man, Kata V2 for everything. I mean, even like even like now, like, you know, I still watch TSF. TSF doesn't even like on Twitter a lot. He doesn't pull like that much, if at any at all anymore. And he, he always clears every bit of content with either Snake Man or Carrot. He, has, yeah. he finds a way to always do that. Oh, and Carrot, I, yeah. I've used Carrot a lot. on Carrot Japan. is, like, it's so incredible that like, I, I like this meta shift. I feel like, you know, Having rather than having one OP legend that can do everything, we might as well have a bunch of them and just you know say, okay, what do you have that can clear the content rather than 
what can I just copy off the off a video? Yeah. But something I didn't mention on the JP update, JP is getting six plus V two Lucci. Now Ooh, the we all up. know Ooh, that he we all know baby. that he sucks. We all know that he sucks <laughs> Whoa. in the current Whoa. climate. But what I want to talk about is do you think there's any possibility or chance that they buff V2 Lucci 6 Plus to the current state, like where the where the where the meta is at? It need a pretty big buff. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately so. So I, mean, I feel like special, I mean his special is still a full like, board. I feel like yeah, he's he's special his special is the worst part about him. I think his captain ability is amazing. Um mm-hmm. Because he's got cooldown reduction, and he's just a, he starts off stronger than the original V2 Lucci. I think he starts at like three point two five, yeah, and then stacks up. Yeah. Um, but his special is the worst part. Like the original V2 Lucci has a better special, in my opinion. That is true. That is that is for sure. Yeah. It's just oh, it's so annoying the way that they did it. But maybe if they do, I'd be happy if they did it. Um, but we'll wait and see. Because if they ever did, maybe we'd get a limit break plus on global and make him better. I don't know. Let's but does the limit break? Uh, the key limit break only do yeah. captain though. No, they did. Yeah, it's yeah. captain. Yeah, it's just yeah. We're shame. hoping the hope is that in the future they'll buff what the keys can do, like what the limit break plus can do. That was disappointing. Right now, I don't think anybody has been excited for any of the. Uh, Probably the most exciting was like Ace, like Black Legend Beard. Ace for me. White Beard also got a nice buff too, but nothing special, yeah. which is Black unfortunate. Beard. Black Beard, the poor, yeah, the Black poor Beard man's carrot. Yeah, poor man's guy. But imagine like I, um, <laughs> Yeah, to pretty much put into perspective, I had grinded back up from the uh, from the East Blue because I wanted the keys. But then, you know, Pokemon came out, and I was like, "Hey, I don't really need the <laughs> hey, keys now." I got no time, man. Yeah. <laughs> I got no time for that anymore. But then, like tomorrow, they're gonna announce a broken limit break plus, and then I'm gonna be regret it. <laughs> but I feel like on that topic, then kind of looking into it a little further. Um we like, you know, we were all pretty disappointed with the what the keys do. We all had hoped that the key would be like I don't know for sure, but like a Dokkan, what is it, Easy A Awakening or yeah. whatever it is. Something, something along that line. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So like like that really just like that can reshape like a three year old unit into a meta into a meta unit. A like meta changing like, unit. Yeah. Yeah. Sengoku, if anyone remembers Sengoku from back Sengoku vs. the world, man. That's the best <laughs> series on YouTube, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, like I feel as if we're all pretty disappointed because like these buffs, so like per se, kind of weren't really like anything too spectacular. Um what what do we do we think that they'll introduce another limit breaking system? They'll go limit break plus plus, or like what do we think will be the future in terms of like limit breaking? I just hope they do better ones. I don't. I don't really want a different system. I just want like more captain abilities and special uh, overhauls that are better. You know, mm. like the yeah. Ace and Blackbeard one was pretty good. Yeah, I yeah, like they, like oh, they, yeah. they did a really good job with Ace and Blackbeard. They made them into like characters that people would actually use to click content with. Um, and then they come to this new batch where there are a handful of characters that need a very serious buff, and they didn't do anything. I think it's just they, a shame because the limit break is just captain. Like if it was captain and or special, I think this system would, would be perfect and you would have people actually like grinding pretty hard to get those keys. But because it's just captain and then some additional attack and some like HP and recovery, but like it's just not as like it's not as necessary really. Yeah. What they need is seven stars. I mean, it's about time. Oh, how my. Is, well, here we how, go. Is the game? <laughs> how old is the game, right? Like, Boris has been talking about seven stars for like three years, man. <laughs> yeah, it's time for seven stars, man. All right, well, seven, okay. Seven so, stars, single. Who's, okay, I was going to ask, who's the first seven star unit? Boris or yes. Sengoku? Yeah, Sengoku. I agree. Sure. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, Luffy. Okay, like, so when, Luffy I think, yeah. When's Luffy yeah. getting the six plus, That's man? That's what I'm saying. He's bad, man. He got shafted. I really hope his support is good because he's competing with Saint Man, who's one of the best in the game. True, supports. there are a lot of good Luffy supports. So, I mean, I can see him being like twenty percent stats to, to Jesus. Right. Oh. It would make maybe, him good. Maybe just Straw Hats Ooh. only, though, or something like that. Like, yeah, try really, fine. really limited, or something like that. I don't know. I just hope that they, you know, do him right. Oh, well, real. That man deserves justice. Yes, he needs six plus so bad. 
He does. He but like what if what if his six plus stops him from being log Luffy though? He just becomes another Luffy. It's like what if, what are we no what are we gonna do though? Well <laughs> what's our branding gonna be like now? We have to change it up. Yeah, we, we Fuji tour of V2 boys. Oh, we're not doing that. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> God forbid, man. Heavens no. I want to talk about these new raid bosses, yo. Yeah, all right. Hit us up. Give me the so, news. New news. More news on JP is that old raid bosses are getting buffed captain and specials, Ooh. which is awesome. So you got Monster Chopper, Garp, which is the old Psy one, Strength Blackbeard, My- Heracles, Quick Ivankov, uh, Raid Boa is getting one as well. Kizaru, Nightmare Luffy, Momonga. So the thing is, like, I don't think they're going to buff Captain and Special, like, both Captain and Special on all units. Maybe mm-hmm. one unit will get a better Special, one unit will get a better Captain, maybe. I don't know. I hope... It, it, this kind of screams like... It's like Neo's, it seems to me. You know? But, like, Neo's is, like, a whole new, like, unit. This is just, like, This is, like, a straight-up buff. buff. Like, what they did with Sengoku back in the day, where they just made yeah. his Captain ability better. I think that's what they're doing with these units. Which is I wonder good. how much they could change. Uh, maybe like Kizaru does more hits, which is always nice. I always use them to get rid of barriers. Or if he could reduce um two turns like two that turns work. of cooldown. Or oh yeah, something like so that. crazy. Oh, yeah. So they can't well, um, like they can't buff too wall. crazy. Like they if they buff too wild, then I feel as if it's like I don't know. I don't I don't think it's like as good. But I feel like if it's like if it's like a satisfying buff to the point where like people could potentially use them on teams. But like then again, I don't feel as if they're gonna do that because like why would they want why would the, a company want someone who's a free to play unit when they could just say, Hey, pull this pull this uh rare recruit you're spending money for that does everything and better. Yeah, I feel like I, we might be overhyping it. it yeah, but I mean that's, I think that's what I think at the end of the day, that's why OPTC was so popular in the beginning, was because you could play the game free to play and get all these OP characters. I mean, Monster Chopper was one of the best captains at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you can do some crazy shenanigans with Strength Blackbeard. Yes. Oh, dude. Strength Blackbeard teams? Whoa. I do like that they're just getting straight buffs so you don't have to feed them anything. You don't have to uh, farm anybody new. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. At least put ideal. them on par with Kahlo units or something like yeah. that. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. See, like, everyone's always, that. like, said give raids a plus, like a five plus raid, which I always thought, like, could be a good compromise. But I feel as if, if you just give them a straight buff, then that's actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. We'll have to see how drastic they are. Yeah, because if they are crazy, then like maybe a raid plus would have been a better, a better way to introduce it, like a more like, interesting I way. I don't think it's going to be anything significant. Like if we take a look at Monster Chopper, right? Monster Chopper's captain ability is like three times attack to strength, and he like reduces your HP significantly. They could just change it to three x to strength. That's it. Just remove the yeah. like HP condition thing. So it could be very small upgrades like that. That'd be, good for beginners. Like, that'd be actually pretty nice. Yeah. Even that'd be fine for like TM captain if you don't have a better legend true. to use. Yeah. Very true. I still feel like at the end of the day, it's like even like beginners and stuff like that in this game. I feel like people are, are, are much more aware of like the whole climate of like, you know, I guess like the TOS breaking idea of like re rolling accounts and that like those kinds of things. Or like even just re rolling your own account until you get a good legend. Like a lot of the time, um, you know, when those big sugar fests like Kaido came out or Bullet or Luffy Law, a lot of people would jump in at those points because, you know, the whole community is like, yes, this legend is like a very ideal starting point. And I think a lot of people will start with those kind of characters. But I do feel like if specials can improve and become a lot more usable, like, like you know, raid units are always nice to have for TM because it does fill in a slot a lot of the time. I mean, like if they, I think adding a lot more utility to the older raids will actually do them a lot better than increasing numbers. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, because like no one's really going to be using them as a captain. No. So, so yo, the re- the reason I say they remind me of Neos is because like we recently got that Neo Nightmare Luffy who was a lot different. He was like a drastic change from the old one. He had like utility built in and stuff like that. So uh, I don't know if they would do buffs that big, you know, like yeah, as big. Dude, as that Neo Nami Luffy was insane. I used him for one of the Garp challenges. <laughs> he was so good. <laughs> <laughs> like like Hancock is pretty different. Uh, the older ones, like the older Neos, like he's already, they weren't really anything different. Oh, yeah, like Virgo um, was a lot better. Yeah. He had utility and a type boost, I think. Yeah, he was good. Speaking of Neos then. We can come back oh. to sockets and limit <laughs> breaks and stuff like that. Neo, uh, whatever his name is, 
Kobe. <laughs> he, he he came out. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, that was. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Thing. He did his thing. He had the I'm worst. Actually, I'm game. farming it. I'm farming it right now as we speak. Oh, this man's yeah. on it. But like, what do we think about that? I don't think he's he's not all that. Like he's, he is not all that. He, he, is... he exists. <laughs> like it's another unit to farm, I guess. For how difficult he is, he should not. I be know. Like, and I think that's that just brings in the whole idea of like, like I feel like having a neo unit should be a rework or a change or like a, a complete overhaul, kind of like what we were saying before with the other units, rather than it just being like just it, it exists. Like you no know, one really once Colo Cobby. Mm-hmm. I got I got I got to say uh slight aside again. I'm sorry. I know I go on tangents all the time. But I really like how when you watch one of Todd's videos, he he tries to kind of put some positives in there, you know, like when he covered Co- uh, Kobe in one of his videos like, "Yeah, I could see the situation where you might be able to use him." And then in here, he's just like, "Nice nah, sucks." You get like the real <laughs> him. <laughs> no, the podcast yeah. is the place where we can all just vent. About how <laughs> trash everything is, you know. But then it, amongst everyone else, we have to pretend we're all happy and we like the game, you know. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's actually a pretty funny situation because the support Helmepo works better with the limited rare recruit Kobe. Yes, that is also very true. Yeah. The yeah. support Helmepo is actually pretty good. He's half yeah. he's half decent. Like, he's could, better than the Kobe, <laughs> which is like the odd part about it. Yeah. I mean, like, because that's yeah. the thing with these extra Colosseums, because when they bring along like the the Neo quote unquote Colosseum unit with their support unit, typically they build the support unit that can only be used with that extra Colosseum unit. But this time around, like you can use the Helmet with limited rare recruit Kirby. You couldn't do that with um uh what's his name? Oars with Moria Arhoshi. and um Neptune with uh Chihoshi, yeah. So it's just weird this time the, the way they've structured it. But it's fine. Indeed. Indeed. But what about six sockets though? What's going on there? <laughs> like that's that's my question. Like I saw I, I saw Todd's vid this morning. I was scrolling through YouTube. I was watching. Him. I was doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, drinking my coffee, eating my eating my cocoa pops, and I was like, oh, Todd's got a new vid on the new batch. All right, I see Bella Betty. You know, she already got two round things, but then I see six <laughs> sockets down below. I'm like, what you doing with six sockets, dog? All right, what's going you know- on there? I, I gotta say, it will be fine as long as people still do the correct order, which is cooldown, no bind, order. Fair, auto heal. What is any wrong? Uh, you start with are. cooldown, your order's wrong. You <laughs> can't start this. with cooldown. Uh, like, cooldowns, yeah. I agree. What? Thank you, thank you. You bind gotta start from start. cooldown, it's go down. It's a bind <laughs> start. You start with bind. Uh, Yikes, bind. Unfriended. <laughs> I bet. All right, boys, <laughs> break it up. What, what do we start with sockets, man? Where do we start? Uh, bind. Despair. There, there is oh, the goat. This is the orbs, goat. but no one uses orbs anymore. I think I still, I still put orbs yeah, in all orbs. my units, I think. I, 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 I have been doing more DR. Yeah, yeah more DR as of late, but I still genuinely put orbs in all my units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kizuna kind of showed me that DR is a little important. Yeah, I mean, like Leia was saying, like even with, even, even with like limit break, like sockets and stuff like that too. Like the DRs becomes quite vital with the extremely later levels, but not like any of us are going to reach those points. <laughs> but that's all right. Todd's just given us his order. So he goes bind, despair, cooldown, orbs, auto heal, and then, you know, has damage. So there, there's, there's six there in a row, but whichever five, it'll be in that order. See, I don't do, I don't, I, what do I do? No, I put auto heal before orbs. Okay. That's fine, I guess. But I still bind is still like oh, it should be in the number one. If it isn't the number one, you, I, I can't call you a clown because I know a lot of people that don't do that. But I'm if that's that's I'm gonna still gonna call you. To a be clown. honest, I feel like if you choose a socket, there should be a set order that the game does so that we don't have these arguments. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like it's still like, yeah. what do we call Sabo? What do we call this dual unit? Like, oh stop, no, stop clowning! <laughs> stop. We don't care what the dual unit's called or what we call Sabo. Everyone understands what you're talking about. I'm I'm putting my fist down. <laughs> it's over. If you mention the Sabo discussion ever again, you eat glue. That goes <laughs> that goes to the guy that counts how many times you mentioned eating glue in the episode. Shout out to that guy. Yeah, that was hilarious. Here it is in this part of the episode. I'm mentioning it right now. If I hear anyone clowning on Sabo again, you're eating glue. Hundred percent. But yeah, yeah, six yeah. sockets. What do we think? Like, do we think that that's a, like that is a possibility in the future? I mean, it didn't it didn't look bad. Like when you um. When you actually look at it um, on the actual unit itself, 
But like, do you think six soccer is will have ever happened, or do you think it would just stay at five at all times? Uh, I feel like if they were going yeah. to do it, you'd have to feed like an item to the character to unlock like a new socket. Oh, that's actually a really good way of doing it. I, I just think if they're gonna add a six socket spawn, they should add more socket types. True. All Ooh, right, yes. I'm gonna put you on I the spot. Of- I'm gonna put you on the spot then. What 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 new sockets? Um, I could make um, something. Maybe, right. maybe instead of new sockets, buff the old sockets, the ones that no one ever uses, because they're just kind of pointless. I don't think people are going to ever use the poison one or the elemental uh, one. Well, what about a, a, para- a paralysis, paralysis one? one would be yeah, really nice. paralysis one would be goat. Paralysis I mean, would be. Lit. I think that would that would definitely become the it socket. You would, you would need that. Blindness. Yes. Blind. Oh, that's a an good S- one. An SFX one as well. Yeah, there we go. Lit. All right. So well, what are you, what are you guys having then? If bind and despair are mandatory, you have five socket slots. Let's oh. assume. Let's assume paralysis and um, blindness have become new sockets. How are you socketing your new uh, version seventeen, Luffy? Oh, <laughs> that's a tough one, actually. I mean, I still have to go with cooldown, no matter what. Yeah, cool. Oh, like, you have to yeah, go with the, cool with, the, with the with the same four. You with chain oh, the four yeah. fundamental. That leaves you two spots with six. Sockets. Oh yeah, we're saying six sockets because that's the yeah. new thing with his new Luffy man. Yeah. He comes with six sockets. Yeah, I'd say then paralysis and damage reduction. Oh, so you like man man trust Cause, himself because blindness you just got to get good. <laughs> yeah, let him know. <laughs> that is. That I'm is just true, great. Man. But what if you're not perfect, though? So you can't do it. <laughs> oh. Shout out right. to those guys. Mm. Yeah, well, they are. <laughs> a bunch of <laughs> hooligans. So we're saying, we're saying bind, despair, cooldown, auto heal, and we have two more slots. What are you going, Knight, if you have the option of everything? I do orbs and DR, personally. Oh, so you just, you're saying no to... No to paralysis, no to blind. He's, he's, this man's got special. Yeah, I mean, like, right. I feel as if I feel as if even with like even if they were to introduce the paralysis and blind ones, they've already built a network system where it's like there are a lot of units that already have like crewmate abilities that are paralysis reducing or like blind reducing. Yeah, like there would be that. At thing. the end of the day, if it's a paralysis socket, it would only remove it on itself, wouldn't it? I don't, ooh, I don't know. Maybe not. I, I don't know. Like, uh, no, I suppose it could be team. For the whole crew, so. It's team I've, based on the total, right? Yeah, yeah. the soccer's based on... I feel like it would, it would well, be... If it's for the whole crew, paralysis is busted then. Yeah. That is really... But needs, that's the point, right? That's, that's We need that because... But, yeah. but, but what does that max out? Do you think it maxes out at three paralysis, five paralysis, ten yeah, paralysis? Yeah, probably two or three. Like three. Yeah, three. Three would be... Cool. Then again, you have a character like Stampede Luffy and it just says fuck paralysis. <laughs> yeah, minus 20 <laughs> <and> everything. <laughs> like, yeah, he's OP, man. From yeah. another angle, when are we going to get a, a sailor ability that like resists bind or something, you know? That'd be cool. Oh, yeah, we don't really have that. Hmm. Oh, I guess yeah, that would work for a captain, though. So it'd be, it'd have that, to be pretty a, situational. That, yeah. that comes back to what I was saying earlier, where the team building now, there's so many options because we yeah. sailor effects. Between all the crazy specials that are in the game now, between support abilities and all the different unique captain effects, like, you really have a lot of options now when it comes exactly. to building teams and things. So it would just the, which is best for the game. You know, yeah, there isn't just I one set just, team to clear content now, but it, it it doesn't make you feel like you have to pull as much. You know, like you sure you can pull, but if, if you don't feel like oh crap, I yeah. can't play the game anymore. That's how I feel right now. Just like not pulling though. Um, I'd still like Snake Man, but you know. I mean, I can, like, I can live. Like, I can it's live it's thing. bewildering that like Snake Man and Carrot are still like two of the best <laughs> units yeah. in the game, though. That is that is so strong. Like shout out to Nightmare's video today. If anyone watched that, that <laughs> that shit is so funny. Oh, it's just oh, um, imagine uh, every every morning when I wake up, I just open YouTube to see if any of the people I watch have you know done anything cool, and I see my name on my feed, and I was like, what? What's going on? <laughs> I was, I was like that as well. I was like, "What the hell?" And I, like, I, I was like, "Did I upload something by accident?" That just like I didn't know. It. And I was like, oh, "Shit, it's Night's video," and it's just Nightmare uh, clowning on Joe Bar. It's like the best yeah. video on YouTube right now. Uh, like, that was great. Go watch it. Link it. Link it down below. Yeah, no, I will. no, actually, I will. I will. I will. I will. But on that, I want to. Um, I want to randomly jump into an anchor question. Um, we have. We don't get many anchor questions. This is a recorded one. So you guys will hear the recording now. 
First of all, I really like your podcast. Uh, listen to the most episode multiple times, and I uh, wanted to know what was your first legend you pulled in Treasure Cruise, and please never stop this podcast. I I'm a really big fan of it. And for those that didn't hear the recording or didn't um or couldn't make it out or whatever it is, we've had this question a lot of times, but I will go into it once again. Um. He does ask, what was the first legend you pulled in OPTC? And now you have Boris here. Boris, what was your first legend in TC? Uh, uh, on Japan, it was uh, Rayleigh, I think. Oh. This was before Maltese, before Red Posters. I, I just kept pulling and pulling until I got Rayleigh. <laughs> I, I didn't re-roll, by the way. I did not re-roll my JP. Yeah. Did without. any of you guys re-roll? Uh, I feel like my, I've fir- my, fir- my first account, no, but this account was rerolled by someone else. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Rayleigh and Rayleigh carried me really hard in because he was busted. The yeah, captain was okay. broken. He was busted until Log Luffy came out. Ah, uh, the yeah, best. I'm actually really so happy. I'm, I'm happy that it's six plus. I still use it all the time. He's great. He's he has yeah. gotten a big uh, resurgence in terms of usage though, and he's also getting a new sailor ability, a special so like, uh, support ability, which is actually really good. Mm-hmm. I feel like, and I feel like it's. I I hope that his support ability is going to be busted on um, on uh, Luffy units. Yeah, because I feel like it's going to be yeah, like probably. Luffy only or something like that. <laughs> and he's a carrot sub. Yeah, yeah true. Uh-huh. very true. Jobo just has a list of all the carrots. I subs. dude, you gotta. <laughs> Dude, the, the Kizuna Zoro Sanji is going to be amazing once we finally max him. This guy is not sharp about Zoro Sanji and character. <laughs> I don't I'm think I've you. ever seen Zoro Sanji and character in anything I've ever watched. Oh, they just maxed them like a what a month nah, ago. I'm still watching, bro. I'm still watching people max stuff right now. <laughs> Man, the JP players have way better stuff than them, though. The that guys is, that you watch. That is that is true. Yeah, Cor- shout out to Coruscant. If he ever wants to come on the podcast, I'll do it in Japanese. That's fine. Dude, I'll, <laughs> I'll learn Japanese for that. I'll just translate on the fly. Speaking, <laughs> of, speaking of Japanese, though, Boris, how's your Japanese coming along? Uh, it's, it's slowly coming along. I'm learning some things every day. Uh, I know you said you're pretty good at Japanese, right? Yeah, like I'm pretty much fluent now, which is like really yeah, scary so. to think about. Nice. It's we like, should definitely have some JP people on the We could, We probably okay. could. I mean, like I think... I realized I was fluent in Japanese when I could start watching anime without subs, and that was the scariest point. Because I was just, like doing something else, and I was understanding what was going on, and I was like, "Okay, I've I've mastered the weeb language now. <laughs> it's 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 done." I try to do that sometimes, like see how much I can understand without subtitles. Yeah, it's actually, a fair bit. I mean, there's a lot I mean, of reused phrases. Yeah, you can. I mean, like you know, me and me and Joe like chop it up and just yell a lot of. White beard yeah. phrases and stuff like that. <laughs> you don't don't, don't, oh, I was gonna say, don't. I'm do sorry, it. I'm sorry. Was, Incoming oh, cringe oh, fest. That's what I'm saying. Don't Eric, do it. I don't want to hear trash. Did you just post cringe, Jobo? No, oh, I, did. I, mean, I had to. Like, do I, like I said, guys, hit us up on Twitter if you want Jobo off the podcast. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> we can kick that guy for sure. But um, who are, who are you gonna put on? There's no one else that has as little of a life uh, as I. Boris, do. you want to join the podcast full time? <laughs> hey, this, this man, this man got a life. Welcome along, Boris. Yeah, no, nah, dude. Yeah, yeah, nice. I'll cut you. I'll put Flash. I'll put Rose. <laughs> I'll put anyone. <laughs> I got replacements, man. Don't worry. I'm planning for this. Man, they don't even play the game. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, I'm, de- I'm, I'm fighting for my life here. <laughs> Rest in peace, man. Um, is there anything else you guys want to talk about? Before we I do. I questions? have a question. Well, I had a question for Boris that yes, uh, so I asked Dry right. last time. Uh, Boris, what's the hardest that you've ever gone for a legend at once? In a single suga. Ah, uh, legend at once. Uh, well, there was there was a time. I think it was like around the maybe the the, the second anniversary or something of OPTC. Uh, and it wasn't me, I guess, but I got there was one suga where I got a lot of donations, um, and I just pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled, and uh, I don't think I got anything. Oh no! <laughs> that was like a uh, it was a there was a period, I think it was before Rob Lucci V1 came out, where I just didn't pull a le- new legend for like I remember that. six months or something. Man, yeah. when I asked Rai that, he also didn't get anything from all this. But pulls. then, to be, to be fair, though, Rai did say he spent 2,500 gems on Boa V1, 
And that yeah. was all singles though. So like that was scary. I will say though, I will say that after that though, I did hit this crazy three red and one when the multi oh, dude, that came was out. The, that was that's that's my favorite Boris video. You were going like, nuts. You like yeah. you, you were in you were in disco with a bunch of people as well. Yeah, and you were just like was you, popping you, you and like so a- hype. And this is the first time Maltese had come out as well. Something that I think yeah. it was. Damn. So if you guys, yeah, if anyone watching this hasn't seen that video, it's probably one of the, the funniest things you'll see. That video. Ooh. And then also, I think the, the reason I found Boris was actually when I found, um, you, I, you made it like, I think it's maybe your most viewed video as well. But like it was like how to like how to get how to farm more XP or something like that. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. I was like, oh, because I remember I was like looking. I was like, how the hell do I how do I how do I level up my base, my base, uh, my my base Luffy, Luffy you know? Oh, yeah. Right, let's get a bar so quick. Oh, yeah. and there it is. Like, you know, TA four, brought TA that very. Like oh that. my day, he's right. Yeah. Damn. All right, let's get into some viewer questions if we're done. Anything else we want to discuss before we get into questions? Uh, new chap- new chapter's out for one thing. Right, go, go, read the new, go read the new oh, chapter. Nah, nah. I, I only read oh. the official release. I'm, a, I'm about to spoil Whoa. it. Oh, he's <laughs> right. He can read the official release. <laughs> Good boy, uh, Boris. He only walked out to my local. We so. should do a live reaction. All right, wait, that made, wait, now that Boris is in Japan, that means he can get us those V-Jump scans, Kappa. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on. Dude, I will sponsor your V-Jump subscription. <laughs> Jobo doesn't have money to sponsor you. Uh, that's true. I, I don't know why I'm talking big. Don't trust him about <laughs> sponsoring nothing. <laughs> How much can it be? Like like 100 yen? 100 yen for a there. subscription? It was funny because yeah. um, when I went to Japan, um, it was, it's actually literally two days to the day that I went to Japan. And um, I remember when we got there. I think I'm the exact same. Holy shit. Hold on. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. You guys are in Japan. We're in Japan at the same time. What the heck? That's bullshit, man. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, I remember before we left, like people already got the V-Jump scans because it was for um, Treasure Map Cavendish at the time. And that was like a while back. And then I remember when we got there, like, yeah, because like the scans had already come out. So I don't know how people get them so early. Probably yeah. work in the yeah, magazine yeah, shops. Normally the off, shops. The, um, off the assembly line. Someone would yeah, that's, that's true. Them. But like, don't they get in trouble for that? Oh, they yeah, probably would if they arrested. find out who you are. Yeah, probably arrested for many years. In God Japan. damn! Damn! I think the One Piece chapters are the same. Yeah, because they're not even released officially yet. Yeah. Normally, it's either was... that or a store will put them out early or something. No, my dad actually works for Oda. Oh, okay. My dad actually is Oda. So what's up? <laughs> yeah. Oda calls me after every uh, after every episode. Those guys are doing God's work. Bless. All right, we get into viewer questions then. Let's go. All right, so yeah. I'm just gonna go through the Twitter thread. There are a few questions here, but if you guys have any questions for Boris, like amongst us, feel free to step in and ask those questions too, or just whatever it is. But we did answer. We didn't really answer that guy's anchor question. Just quickly around the table, who were your first legends? My one was V1 Mihawk. Kuroko Daidu. Oh, all right, fucking all right. All right, Joba. <laughs> this guy, watch one anime. All right, we get it. Yeah. Luffy. So wait, what, what was yours night? Log Luffy. Oh. Oh. What was it? yours, Boris? Did you say one, yours was Rayleigh? Uh, Rayleigh. Really? Yeah, Rayleigh yeah, really on Japan. I think, was, I think I got white beard, but we don't talk oh. about that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, one Shanks. V1 Shanks. There you go. So yeah, thank, you for, thank you for submitting that question. Um, please send more questions to Anchor. I know Cobb's at work right now, but that guy's probably fuming because he's waiting for more yeah. questions coming. We don't have enough questions. We need more. Ask more questions. It doesn't have to be about OPTC. It can be about anything you want. We'll answer whatever to an extent. <laughs> I don't mind. I'll, I'll, I'll answer whatever it is. But we do need more questions. That's for sure. Um, but we'll get into this. Uh, we'll get into this Twitter thread real quick. So from at Sengoku the Goat, he asked, hey. "Why is Papi so funny?" Ha <laughs> ha. We all know that's true. And he said, um, "And did Boris <laughs> rainbow his log Luffy? He's got log Luffy rainbow." <laughs> Uh, it's not rainbowed. Okay. Oh, get him on. out. Uh, <laughs> kick, all right. kick him off. <laughs> that should be a requirement. That should be a requirement for being on here. We take your. We have to check your account. Oh, not rainbow. Sorry, can't be on. <laughs> I can try though. I can try to rainbow. Okay, don't no, waste don't. materials. No, 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 no. Don't waste materials on. Yes, Lovely. do it, please. No, shut up, Jova. No, don't do it. <laughs> I'll post um, it on Twitter if I do. No. 
at Jesse Robert asks, yo, how's Japan, dude? I miss your OPTZ vids. I hope you will make one soon. And how did you land your job at Japan? He wants to work there someday. So if you want to go into maybe like a little bit in the process of how you actually got that job, like what you need to do, what like those specific Yeah, things. yeah, sure, sure. So um, pretty much in Japan, you need a pretty much need a bachelor's for most jobs at least. So, hey. you know, you just go to university, do your, do your four years. And I recommend if you're still in university or you're just going to go to university, start studying Japanese as soon as you can. Because I offered, the problem, I'm offering tutoring. Hit me yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. tutoring? Up, uh, Captain Poppy. <laughs> yes, sir. Or something. Oh, okay. He's, 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 that's it. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> but no, uh, because uh, um, so, uh, teaching English is cool, but um, to be able to really move up to like a better job, you probably need at least uh, what they call an N2 level Japanese, yeah. so business level Japanese. So if you have N2, it basically means you're fluent enough. If you have M1, you're yes. like you're 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 a god of Japanese. But N2 pretty much identifies that you're like you're you're good to go. So does that mean like reading and writing? Reading, writing, speaking, listening, all that kind of yeah. stuff. So you do a yeah. test for. You could operate in a business setting. Yeah. N2 is basically like enough for a foreigner. So I think I'm N3. So like I, I can take the test though soon to get N2, which I probably will yeah. eventually. But so if you get N2, it's recognized pretty much that like any like as a foreigner, you know enough Japanese. You can pretty much apply to any company. However, I will say I'm not sure if you want to work in a Japanese company. Yeah. I've heard that. They're, They're kind of like be... one and done. You work for the same country for your whole life. You know? Yes. Like a, foreigner, yeah. a foreigner doesn't really want to <laughs> probably doesn't want to do that. But I'm I think used to, yeah. I think teaching the English is really cool. Like there's a lot of like programs and stuff out there. So do look into it like, if you're really interested in doing so. Um, yeah. And it may, mainly it's um, like you can get a visa, a working visa. Because yeah. for instance, in the US, you can't get a working holiday visa. Which you can in, I think, Australia, in Europe, in England. Some right. country you can just do a working holiday visa. That is true. US. That is true. So have a look around. They are, it is available for a lot of people. You need the bachelor's at minimum. But do look around and see, yeah, because it, it is op- they are offered there. Um, Zistens asks, uh, when are we playing Smash again? <laughs> when are we playing Smash? Oh. Again? Well, I, I won the last tournament. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, let him know. Let him know, Chief. That Rob maybe, is menacing. I think I actually that. remember playing Smash with you. I don't remember if it was in Dynasty or in it your server, Dynasty. but I remember it was, it was definitely Dynasty. Your Rob was whooping my ass. Yeah. His Rob the is main clean. problem. The main problem with me right now is I don't have Ethernet. I need to get Ooh. like a hardwired yeah. internet so I can actually play. Well, how, how is like the Wi Fi in Japan just in general? Your, your internet, anyway? Oh, and my Wi Fi is pretty nice. I mean, it's just like, just like at home pretty much when I was back home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just, yeah, I, I mean, I could try it on my oldest Wi Fi. I need to find, I need to find some way to get. Ether. You need to find time, first of all, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. You haven't got it much can't time be, It can't be as bad as that Australian is. lag. Okay. <laughs> Dude, all right. Keep yeah, making yeah. excuses, Chief. I keep whooping your ass. Oh, I, I still won. What are you talking about? <laughs> we'll play, you know what? We'll play when we do the live episode. How about all right. I'll bet. in the boxing ring. <laughs> bet, yeah. bet. All right. You've heard it yeah. first. Me versus Joe, but we're in the ring this yeah, time. <laughs> one v one me, bro. Whoever wins runs GGP. So hopefully it's No, no, no thank you. That's bro. Intervention over. Yeah. <laughs> Too much responsibility for me. <laughs> right, it's more um, for street cred. <laughs> that is true. Um, Monsef with like 14 underscores asks, yeah, uh, Yo, Boris, the community misses you so much. We are waiting for that comeback or, come back or at least an update video. What's happening? Yeah, just um, like I said earlier, just let me know, guys, what, what video would you like to see? What kind of videos would you like to see? Obviously, I want to see vlogs as, uh, if you're yeah, comfortable vlogs. with that. I'd, I reckon that'd be really dope. Well, I, like, I know you'd be out there playing lots of Pokemon Go. Yeah, yeah dude, I do. I do play dude, Pokemon you really Go. could hit it up. Like that, I reckon that'd be really dope. If you manage that, like do some more Pogo vids, more vids like that, it'd be really interesting, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I, I could see myself making Pokemon Go videos. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, there's a lot, I've been to a lot of parks here. There's a lot of cool parks. That's so nice. I was thinking of a recording there. Be pretty good. Do they is there as many uh, soccer trees as anime leads me to believe? Yes. Well, that's that's in the uh, yeah, that's the season the spring. Bro. Yeah. Oh right, in right. March, like around March. It starts from March yeah. and then it works its way down south until May, I believe. Nice. So I haven't seen them. I haven't been here in that time. So yeah. looking forward to that next year. That'd be dope. 
All right, we can make make some. We'll make some. I'll come over to Japan and we'll make some like anime style vids in the yeah, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you'll have to do. You'll have to do the angry anime voice. I'll do. I'll, I'll start yelling on like top of the castle or something. Like Good week, perfect <laughs> live from Japan. Oh, okay, he's done. Boris put it out there. The energy's out there. I'm it's just weird. saying, I'll, um, we we got, uh, we might have to, we might have to pack up and head over. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Dude, I, I really want to go back to Japan. I, like, because because uh, literally when I, when I logged on Facebook this morning, I saw like two years ago you posted these images, and it was the day I arrived at Japan. I'm like, damn, I'd love to go back. Dude, yeah. for real. Yeah, facts. We might we might have to go, Todd. It might be Perhaps. time, dude. Pack yeah, it up, man. head over, bring the boys. <sighs> Go to Boris's house and record at four AM. Get everyone upset. Leave. <laughs> would you? Would you say? Would you say it's like if you go to vacation there for you know a couple of weeks or something? You got to like take a lot of money with you to be able to really um, enjoy. It? Uh, no, but that you want to take a lot of money because you want to buy a lot of things. I mean, right. you you specifically, Joba, will need about four hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> like. <laughs> I but gotta like, buy so many damn weed things. You'll buy too much. I think uh, while I was over there, I think I spent between fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred Australian. I think in yeah, that range. I was about the same. Yeah, it was in that range. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I think I like I I like factored in like three grand spending, that which include like food and stuff. But yeah, yeah I spent around fifteen to twenty five, and I and bought travel like and yeah, yeah, that travel and that kind of stuff. And we got like we were in hostels every night when we went, like me and my friends. And yeah. you could you could average like twenty five to thirty five Australian dollars a night for a hostel. That is really good. You get an Airbnb or something like that. Yeah, if you really want to, like you're going with like a group of friends as well. Yeah. You can get oh, you're probably staying nice in one too. location. But like Dude, the hostels are crazy. Pokemon Center, I just bought a bunch of stuff that I wasn't. Dude, oh, the Pokemon centers are so good. Dude, I bought I bought like four hundred five hundred dollars worth of just booster packs. We just yeah, opened dude, them up. Booster the booster boxes were so cheap. We like yeah. we went when that. Do you know how they did like the re release of like base set? We were yeah, there. Yeah, we yeah, were there yeah. when they did the release. Like we just walked up one day, and everyone was running around grabbing because no one buys the cards, but everyone buys like, the uh, the boxes and the sleeves because they want to resell them. Oh yeah, the deck boxes, deck boxes. So, yeah, that's it, deck boxes. So um, I just went up and bought a bunch, and I was like, okay, we're just like sitting at the hostel eating like cup ramen and just like opening booster packs for the whole night. And it was, damn, that was <laughs> yeah. I, I remember actually when I used to play Yu Gi Oh back in middle school and in high school. Um, there are people who'd go to Japan and bring back and resell the deck boxes. Yeah. Would, it, would, it was mm. crazy. Like, we were going and there. The people sleeves. Would, yeah, the sleeves people were so would, cool. People, like, I could see them, like, just spend them, like, yelling at, like, the poor cashiers. And so, like, like, we need more. Get more. Oh, God. <laughs> like, they were they were very frantic with it, too. Sounds like a good-ass time. All right. Cobb's in the chat saying that this chapter's fire. So I'm upset. Oh, <laughs> to, damn it. <laughs> like, God damn it. That. Um, oh, something <laughs> that we haven't really talked about that I guess we could. I don't know if Knight or Joba have played it yet, but Pokemon. Yes. No. No, I'm really, I've kind of fallen out of it. Yet. I, I'm behind. I haven't, the last one I played was off of Sapphire and I haven't even beat it. Wow. Okay. I just, I just feel like they've gotten too easy. Okay. I don't know. Like, Oh yeah, so Pappy, are we still kicking Joba off? Or <laughs> I'm <laughs> kidding, kidding, like, kidding, like, kidding. like I said, hit me up on Twitter, baby. Oh, yeah, I, I am curious. I know there was a whole lot of like fan backlash after all, like a bunch of the things that happened in the game. What would you guys say? Like, is it actually worth all it's the fun. outrage? Or it's a lot, like, I think, I think Todd, I think Todd got it from Rhyme Star. I think mentioned or something that, or whatever it was. Like, um, we can't shy away from the fact that they cut a lot of corners. Like it is very evident in the game. However, the game is still fun, regardless. Hmm. I mean, have you seen the sales yeah, it's, figures? It's a, it's a po- yeah, it's a Pokemon game. So at the end of the day, if you're a Pokemon fan, you're gonna enjoy the. You're game. gonna play it. Sure. Like, you're gonna minimum yeah. play it if you, whether you're gonna enjoy it or not. It's, yeah. yeah. I think uh, people are looking are out for the future. People are looking out for the future of the series. Now that it's That's on where handheld. Everyone's... So yeah, I think everyone's. I think everyone's yeah. complaining for the future's sake, not just. That's for the true. Like, I think. I think Game Freak just had to get this one under their belt, maybe. And then now that they've got this kind of foundation, maybe they can build from it for the yeah. future. Like, um, future if games. you guys remember the Golden Age, where we had like a uh, leaf green, fire red with the Sevi Islands, and then you Dude, had oh my God, emerald, yes. emerald with the Battle Frontier. Yes. And then Diamond and Pearl, which. People- I, I, figured, I, I figured the sales were going to be crazy because the Switch is a massively popular console. Six million. Right I think it, I think it's the it might have broken records. It's, it's the, the number fastest, one selling Switch yeah. game, fastest yeah. selling Switch game. 
And I'm sure a lot of those are new, like uh, newcomers to the series. So like my, yeah, my little brother, is, he's 15, and it would be his first Pokemon game. I wonder if that sale number counts for like the combo deals that you get. It does. It, I think it, gen- it does because a lot of those like big ones where it's like the most sold items on like the Wii, for example, are like Wii Sports and yeah, and Wii Play. And that, yeah, that's another thing as weird. well. Is because they release two versions at the same time, like the sales figures go up heaps because of that because a lot of people buy much. both. Yeah. Oh, yeah. do they count them together? I think so. And that shows you the power of the franchise. People are willing to buy the same game twice. So that's why we hope that in the future they'll they'll put back some of the features. Like, uh, I guess, can we talk about spoilers or no? Um, I'm, I, I don't mind. All right, it's spoilers for anyone nah, that's listening. Okay. No, no. For anyone that's listening that doesn't want spoilers, uh, uh, stop, li- for, stop for, listening now. Um, I don't know about Night Story. Though. Yeah, yeah, is this spoilers for the story or what are we uh, talking not about? Not spoilers mainly for the gameplay aspects. Like, for example, well, yeah, I guess it would kind of the be spoilers. Right? Yeah, like, for example, I'll give you one that's not really big. Spoiler. There's the pretty much every Pokemon game normally has the victory road mm. where right before you hit the Elite Four. And yeah, this one is- it was weird. I was, I was, like, I was like on that last route and I was waiting. I was like, okay. I'm gonna enter a cave at some point. Exactly. Yes. And then, yes. and then it just—I just rolled up. They're like, "Oh, you're here." And I'm like, "What? No, <laughs> really?" I was like, "What? You're here?" Uh, and and like, I'm not even gonna get into the Elite Four because that's the whole. No, bit. I mean, like, look, I'm gonna say that system. Like, I was confused at first, but I still think that the way that they organize that is a lot funner, in my opinion, than it was just running through Elite Four than Champion. I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm just the way I grew up. You know, yeah, I guess we're all, we're all very for and stuff, and then champ. It just but. gives me a good feeling when I can expect certain things from a game, you know. Yeah, but because I mean, the like victory road was. Cool. Yeah, I think that should be a minimum for the game or something. Didn't Dylan already complete the Pokedex? I saw on Twitter. Dylan and Cobb. Yeah, yeah, he did actually. Yeah. Damn. Dylan and Cobb are both done. Did they trade? Oh, or did oh they... yeah, they did. Jeez, uh, they've been no lifing it. Um, yeah, they've been going hard. I mean, it's took them about two days or one and a half days worth. Of, yeah, I think like, I think going Dil, for Dil mentioned two days, so I think Cobb would probably be about the same. Though. Yeah, um, I think because it actually shows how many you actually caught and how many you traded for. It actually shows that. That's oh, that's yeah. really cool. And I think Dill caught two hundred and fifty ish. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a lot, yeah. Well, that's what I do. I always that's the main thing I do with Pokemon games. I go for the full decks. That's just my thing. I'm a completionist. Yeah, I've not, I've never done it. I was a little upset about them not having the full Pokedex. It's not a big deal for me. Um, however, like the reason obviously the mad the reason they're mad is because they said it's for animations and then they see that's the your, issue. Your rival like, has the exact same animation as how from uh, yeah. <laughs> see, that's the that's yeah, the thing but, that frustrated me the most is because like the, like Game Freak tried to cover their ass by saying we're cutting Mons, but really for the they animation were just, sake. They just say you're much, cutting Mons. Yeah. They put you too know, much towards town and town flaws. They mind really hard from what I heard. So, yeah, I'm, like, I don't care that they cut mons like that. I like it doesn't bother yeah, me at the like, end of the day. It's not a big deal for me. But it's like, I mean, don't say you're cutting mons, and then your justification is the animations. Yeah, it just, you don't you don't show yeah. it. We need a patch for the wild area though. That place sucks. Yeah, so the wild area, that's the reason to buy the game because yeah, the wild area and raids are the really two fun. biggest reasons to buy the game. Yeah. They're, they're the selling points. Like they're the the main reasons why the story's cool, the gameplay's fun. It's like it's not like it's easy, but it's not like it's probably not the easiest Pokemon game I've played. Um, but like I don't know, like if you if like once you've finished like and once you've got to the first wild area, you can basically stop playing. And also difficulty depends because for example, you know, when I when we were kids, we never used X item or I never used X items. Like, what are X items? They're yeah, exactly. But now you just go to a boss, you pop two x specials and you just one shot everything well, like even like you know even like now with like the um the raids dropping like the exp crystals and that kind of stuff like you can yes, well, you can yeah. get like level 70 level before 80 the first before the first gym which is like yeah. crazy yeah. <laughs> like raid know. battles are the best component of this game hands down i love raiding i haven't even done a i haven't even gotten into raiding yet i just it's I'm fun about, i'm at the but end, i think because i've been I think busy but my like my issue with it and i think it probably just a me thing is like how many raid battles are you you like actually gonna do until you get to a point where you're like, like it, I'm just doing the exact same thing over and over again. Or like I'm bored of this, you know. Like raid battles can't like sh- can't and shouldn't be the only reason why yeah. you keep playing this game. Like it's not fair on the consumer in that sense. Yeah. 
I will say the Pokemon so, designs are actually kind of cool. I, I, yes. I like the designs. The designs are so nice. What's yeah. up, the dragon, dragon, catapult? Dragapult, dragapult is yeah, crazy. Dragon Pole, Toxtricity. Yeah. Toxtricity is also dope. I like Sandy Cobra. Yeah. I like the Lowlands. Like, I ran into, like, a Mr. Mime. Like, what? Oh, what the Galarian. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. <Miss the> Rhyme. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> the the Curse Solar, yeah. the Surfetched. Um, really Ultra cool. Goon. Yeah, really cool stuff. Little guys. A good job on, on not just doing Gen 1s. No, I'm happy. Maybe, but we got to stop dick riding Charizard. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Dude, his, his so Max Ball looks sick, though. I'm so over it, though. Oh, you say night? They gotta sell the Pokemon say, packs, the man. With Poppy, like, stop yeah. decorating Charizard, stop, like, bro. We like, like, it just it is confusing when they're like, we're not gonna have any other starters, and they're like, it's like <laughs> Charizard's in the game. Like, I mean, what? that's the weird thing. They never even gave G Max forms to the new starters. See, like, I, I don't agree with that. I've, I mean, like, then again, you can argue that, um, uh, you can argue that uh, the the starters didn't get Mega Evos. When yeah, uh, X, 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 Y came out, yeah, but um, uh, but, but yeah, apparently, they made, they made Greninja OP, <laughs> yeah, Greninja was broken as hell, though. Yeah, if I have to pick like an actual complaint, like my my the thing that I had the most trouble with, I guess, would be there's like no almost no end, like there's no end game, there's no legendaries to catch, no post game, yeah, really? yeah, like, very, I, remember, I was very disappointed in the the quote unquote, like once I beat like the game, like, a, like beat the champion. There's like a little like segment after the game where you just do some meaningful tasks. And yeah, then wait, there's, like, no, the, right. the, the boss there's no there. legendaries. There's no. There's like there's, there's three legendaries. legendaries. That's it. Like what? there's the three, oh. like there's there's like there's the box legendary. There's another legendary that you find out in the story. You know, but other yeah. than that, there's no like additional legendaries. Yeah, the like, two box the, legendaries and then a, another story legend. That's it. Yeah, there's no Man. trio. There's no none of that. It's just three legendaries that, max. Like pe- people that's where you spend all your Diamond time. Diamond and Pearl, but like Diamond and Pearl, you, you can hash like you can that's catch that's why I love it. So Diamond and Pearl is like Diamond Pearl is so Rotom. cool. Man. That's why I love Diamond and Pearl and Platinum so much. Is the lore yeah. of all the legends and stuff like that. It's so yeah. cool. There's no and evil team, were... man. Where's the evil team at? <laughs> I'm trying to beat some people up. That's true. There's, yeah. there's no evil team. I got team yell. I got team yell screaming at me. Jeez. Hey, like, you know, me. I think that's why I've fallen out of favor because like it, every version has been the same, but at least there were things that you could come to expect. Like Victory Road was fun, you know, yeah, catching like, like a lot of legendaries. The end game, the end game was where you spend most of the time. I can't believe there's just nothing. Stuff that was said that are negative, you just got to play it. The game is fun. Yeah, you it's like fun, yeah, though. it's a Pokemon yeah. game. It's, it's fun. fun. You'll enjoy it um, yeah, we yeah. like we we say this from the place that we've all played it and pretty much like all finished it as well, like. You know, like it, it, the game's fun. Like I, 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 like I think what was it like the last like two or three days? Like I sat down with all the Boris guys. You know, shout out Math, Uli, Trop, all those boys as well. Like we just sat down with like Col- uh, Cobby, Dill, Todd, all of us. We we're just like sitting in Disco for like ten hours, just the whole day. Just like all of us playing Pokemon, either raiding or doing the story or. You know, drip checks. You know, drip checks important. Make sure, you, make sure your character looks fire. You know, or else me and Math, will run, Math and I will run up on you, and you know, we'll, we'll put you in the jail. But you know, like that. I think that's the best part. I think, like, I mean, that's more help because Discord allows us to connect with a lot of people. But like, I don't know. Like that was the that was the most fun part for me was just sitting in calls Ooh, with everyone. Which, yeah, I which, definitely like Pokemon going in a more social direction. I think that's really yeah. Cool. The, uh, that's, that's what I really like about it as well, and they they've definitely done that with the wild area related stuff. Mm-hmm. But I had a, I was going to ask which Pokemon game is your favorite? Oh, everyone in here, uh, Hard Gold and Soul Silver were my favorite. Good yeah, story. yeah, I think because Gen, Gen Two was Gen Two was amazing, and then they just made it you know a lot better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. For me, it's it's Leaf Green just because I probably played that the most, that's, and again yeah. it had Sevy Islands. But then I bet it's like tied with the yeah, like, Heart gold, soul silver, just OG gold. OG I'm pretty much the same thing. Like the game I played the most was Diamond Pearl. Like it was Diamond specifically, but Diamond Pearl Platinum was like my favorite. I love Platinum, but yeah, HG Double S holds it down. It's probably like the universal like loved game because that game was just so much fun. Well, you know, yeah. I, I also have yeah, a it, question it, for the. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say like I guess final thoughts here is that yeah, di- uh, Gold and Silver they pretty much took everything from the first game and. 
Yeah. Yep. Well, Which is what I'm what what kind of hoping that Game Freak does. Let's step. Let's take steps forward, not take steps backward. Mm-hmm. True. Not favorite game. Oh, um, I would probably say HGSS as well, but also Omega Ruby. Yeah, I think, I, I think Omega Ruby Avatar yeah. was slept on. Yeah, Hone, Hone's my third favorite. Oh, second favorite. slept on. I sure. need to. I need to finish it. So it, I got. I got an, so I do this thing where when I play a Pokemon game, I like to have a different team each time that I've never done before. And when I was playing it, I wanted to get um the what's the other version of Gardevoir, like the male version? Goliath. The, Goliath. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to get him, but like it's really hard to get his uh his evolution stone early on. Yeah, there's a way stone, to right? yeah, Shiny there's a way to get it yeah, through the world. and like. And like the the city that has the third gym, I think you have to do this like reverse battle thing, but it's like pretty hard. And I kept trying over and over to get it, and I just couldn't do it, so I kind of just stopped playing it. I really do need to finish that's it. Though, you cause... suck. Yeah, that's true. My, my it, it was also it was platinum. also RNG. Platinum for bro. Platinum's probably my favorite. It's the one I put the most time in. But HDSS, like that's probably best value for for money, honestly. Dude, it, it just did it so well. The transitioned from. Oh, you've done this this region? Uh, Psych, like, he's another region. Yeah. Well, the, the funny thing it. about that game is I was going to buy it. I'm like, why would I? I already played Gold and Silver. Why would oh. I buy it? And then I ended up buying it and my friends got it. And then I, like, didn't go to school for, like, a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Shout out to Emerald, though. Emerald, I also spent a shit. Emerald's great. Emerald. Battle Frontier, yeah. Battle Frontier. Battle Frontier. Go do, go do Ooh, your legendaries yeah. real quick. Send them around. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I also have a Pokemon related question for you guys. Uh, what is your favorite starter? Starter, Shit, man. Man. Oh, man. That's such a hard question. We all know it's Charizard. Okay, Charizard. Charizard, nah, the best Charizard aside. Starter. Charizard aside. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't be Charizard anyway. No way. But I need to get a list of the starters. There's too many Pokemon these days. I, I like uh, Greninja. Kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, Froakie's dope. He holds it down. Uh, I like My favorite. Torterra, like, four times a week to ice. <laughs> Wait, who's her Torterra? Uh, I like Torterra, but he's four yeah, Torterra. Torterra is my choice uh, for my. Favorite. All right, how about we? How about we go f- through the generations and all, all right, we'll collect- do that. Coll- and we Ooh. all collectively decide the best starter in a generation. All right, let's do it. All right, Gen One: Bulbasaur, Squirtle. Um, Squirtle. No, I want to. Come on, it has to. It has to be Charmander. Wait, are we doing best uh, or favorite? We're doing. We're, we're all collectively deciding the best one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it has to be Charizard. It might have to. Uh, under Charizard. Yeah, I I would actually say one of the other two, but I can't beat Charizard. I know it's not going to happen. The, to be honest, I think all of the ones from Gen One are fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. would say I would say all the one. Well, not all the ones. Two out of the three uh, in second gen are amazing, and you know which right. two. Chikorita, <laughs> Chikorita, <laughs> Typhlosion, Totodile. Oh. Who holds it down? Chikorita sucks, man. Chikorita's <laughs> like the worst starter in existence. Yeah, I think it's the worst starter for me. For me, Totodile is dope. I love Toto. Totodile yeah, would be my yeah. choice as well. For alligator, yeah. Yeah. For alligator and Typhlosion are really badass. If Dylan right. was here, if Dylan was here, he would be uh hyping up Chikorita though. I know. Oh man, I feel bad. I, I feel you. bad. I, that, you would, dude. I feel bad that we're having this discussion without them. We will I think we'll come back when they're on the cast and talk about Pokemon again. Yeah, we'll do it. Because we'll have a we'll have another two week period where we've all played it and we've pretty much all done with it at that point. Fingers crossed we're not though. But uh, all right, Trico, Torchic, Mudkip. Bro, they're all Septile. good. They're all good. Uh, Trico, it has cool to be Pokemon. Trico. Like, come on. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Septile is such I a badass. I like Trico the best, but I think oh, Blaziken Blumper, is just OP, so man. Yeah. yeah. I think Trico, t- Trico's dope for me because I just remember it always from the anime where, like, he used to have a little twig in his mouth and, like, oh, that oh, shit yeah, was so yeah, cool. Yeah. It's a gross I was a Septile main in. Poke Fighters or whatever the game was called. Oh, yo, Poke. same. Pokemon, Pokemon was, yeah, dude, I was Pokemon, as well. That shit was yeah. crazy. No, nah, my choice would be Mudkip for this for this uh, gen. I keep thinking in Final Evolutions here. Because that's just so what good. I see. I mean, you can, I mean, yeah, like... It, Gen 3 was so good. All right, Sceptile yeah, was really Gen, cool. Gen 3 had, like, a really good array of starters. As well. Gen they 4 did. has the best array. All right, Turtwee, okay. Chimcha, Gen- Piplop. Okay, Gen 4 has my... Start ever, which is Empoleon. What a cool fuck! It. Okay, first of all, penguins are really cool, and Empoleon has probably my favorite typing, like in the whole game. Yeah. Water is steel. What a steel badass starter! Is he the only steel starter? Ah, I think so. Yes, yes, he is. Uh, okay, yeah. that's yeah, a really that strong combination. Maybe it was Gen Five. People like, oh yeah, we're gonna have a steel psychic and dark starters. And I'm like, like, is, yeah. Wait, is Whoa. Shimchild the only fighting starter? Oh wait. <laughs> 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 Jesus. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> but not like, like there's literally no bad choice with Gen Four. Yeah, they're, they're all about yeah. to be amazing Pokemon. Yeah, they're all OP, man. Um, though I feel like competitive wise, I feel like Chimchar would take it. Would take it. Infernape is just really good. Yeah, yeah Empoleon's kind of slow, but he's really cool. Torterra is four times. Yeah, Torterra is slow, and yeah, weak to ice. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Snivy, Tepig, Oshawott. I actually didn't like this generation of starters that much. Yeah, I it actually was a bad gen. gen five was the only gen I skipped. Competitive mm. wise, Snivy or Superior holds it down because Contre, the ability, yep. is just yeah, busted. Contre, he's OP. You know, he's just, shout out to Tepe to having one of the best shinies in the game. That is also true. M Ball looks amazing. Yes. All right, we can skip that because unfortunately yeah, the, not, starters, the starters were trash, but the actual like the the other <laughs> ones in Gen 5 were really yeah, good. Yeah, the, the Pokedex in Gen 5 was amazing. Dude, for sure. I feel like Gen 5's dex is very much rivaled, in my opinion, but Gen 8's dex is really good as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's very good. Yeah. But Chespin, um, Fennekin, Froakie, I'm fairly sure we all know it's Froakie. It has to be. Froakie. Actually, I, pl I played, uh, I think, don't you dare say, <laughs> Don't you dare say Fennekin. Because I know no, no, you're going to say Fennekin, you furry man. <laughs> I know. No, no. Damn. <laughs> I know. No, it. I I, I play Pokemon Y and I actually can't remember who I picked. I think I, I usually go with the start with the water starter. My first time playing a gym. Yeah, so Frankie, the gut. Yeah, Grenade. I actually picked personally. Yeah, but I know Frankie. I didn't play any. Of, I didn't play any of the gens after that actually, but the owl one looks pretty cool. All right, Rowlet, Litten, Poplio. Well, Poplio, oh, Poplio, as you all know, was a damn shame. It's got great <laughs> typing though. Water fairy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's it's really good. Yeah. Oh, it's that's really good. Yeah, it's fairy. Nah, Linden's Lin Lin is my main on Smash. L yeah, Incineroar is my main on Smash. So I have to go with my boy Lin. I, I chose Rowlet oh, on so my playthrough. I, I love Decidueye. That boy edgy yeah, as hell, but he got a hood and everything. <laughs> He's ghost, right? Is he ghost? Or yeah, yeah, Grass Ghost. ghost. ghost is red. Red. Yeah, really dark. What's Incineroar? Is Incineroar uh, dark? Pretty sure. Fire. Is he, mm. like, yeah, I, I'm sure he's firefighting. Yes, he whatever uses his... no, he's, uh, Okay, fire I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't even know what the final evolutions of the current gen look like. I'm gonna have to. Look all right, we'll go while. based upon these because they all suck. <laughs> nah, <laughs> it, they've grown on me a lot more. They they really have. Um. So, yes. Grookey, Score Bunny, Sobble, who we got? I chose Grookey because as soon as I saw him binking that rock in the trailer, it was over for me. That <laughs> Grookey was so funny. Nah, Grookey, Grookey was my start. Ryla Boom is he's pretty cool, pretty strong as well. So, um, look, I think Gen 8 has probably the weakest set of starters. Yeah. Um, though if we're talking competitive wise, School Bunny wins. School Bunny's been so busted. Its hidden ability is the same hidden ability as um Greninja. Oh, Which really? Yep. Yeah. Oh, so wow. it's kind of broken in and I didn't know that. That's OP. What the hell? <laughs> um, I think the grass starter what... puts up like a grassy terrain or something, which is yeah. pretty good. Yeah, and it does. and um, yeah, it the gross. water one gets sniper, which increases the multiplier of critical hits. Critical hits. Oh. So it's not All that right. good. Oh, surfish should have that. Mm. So okay. I don't know. Mm, I, I'm, even though I hate it, I think Score Bunny wins for the best. Mm. Yeah, in terms of competitive, yeah, Score Bunny. <laughs> Are these the final evolutions? I know that there was a lot of leaks like before they came out officially. Is this what they look like? <laughs> no. 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 Oh, dude, I, okay. I have no clue what they look like. I, I no. gotta find like a... Yeah, yeah, let me... Let's me... Hey, up. Right now. They, that, that's the first result on Google Images. This is why, we, this is why we're trying to kick Job off the podcast. Get us, to, get us to a thousand <laughs> subscribers and we'll kick Job off. <laughs> Actually, no, the fly one will be Job's. I'm summing. Like yeah, carrot. the fly one's your favorite. Oh, the grass one looks pretty cool. Is oh, he's a pure grass type. They're all They're pure. All, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not oh no, the fire one. That's not. That's and Teleon reminds me of that. Uh, what was that? Gex or whatever that game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. Oh, dude. <laughs> Damn. Nah, the grass. I gotta say, the grass one looks the coolest. The grass one looks the coolest. Yeah. Yeah, I think Donkey so. Konga. What is that? Is he playing like the? Fucking... Hey, there you go, Gex. <laughs> he's playing the drums. Playing the drums? Damn, yeah, that's pretty cool. Playing the drums. All right. That seems. Yeah. That seems like uh, why would you go into battle with a damn drum? But all right. Hey, our boy be drumming. He's pretty cool. He got the he got the tool. He got the stick. He, he stays yeah. strapped. Though the starters have kind of grown on me a little bit. Yeah, they definitely have. The whole yeah, game has grown on me a lot over time. I, I actually kind of think the fire and water one look kind of lame. I'm not gonna be. Not gonna lie. 
Oh, he doesn't like the fire one. That's a turn of events. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he can get into it pretty cool. Um, I know. Um, I think Cinderace is kind of short, but uh, Inteleon's freaking tall. <laughs> you get, when you really? Dynamax him, you, you can't even see like top half of his body. Oh, it's huge. He's a big boy. That is indeed. That's for true. We have one more. I'm going to just quickly chop into this real quick. We had one more question on the Twitter thread that had to do with OBTC. We're going back to that game. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I forgot this is an OBTC podcast. Yeah, whoops. My bad. We might, we might need to slide a Pokemon card. Hold on. Yeah, shit. Dude, I mean, we so, could talk about different stuff. If we, that, like, if we go hey, weekly. Sh- hey, sh- sh- oh, hey, that's oh, the shit. Oh, that's the secrets, spoiling, man. That's spoiling. the secrets. Oh, shit. Oh, Job, sorry. Has, Job has leaked it a little bit, but get us a thousand subs. We might make some things happen. Anyway, Ooh. question from at BBJ077. He asks, which non-straw hat character has the best, best units, like, do we think? In my opinion, in his opinion, he thinks Doffy units are really solid, like the Raid Legend. That the was Coliseum the first one that come to mind for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was thinking of Law. Law. Yeah. Law, yeah. Yeah. Law. True. Law has some really crazy Especially on Japan, Dude. just got, like, two or three good versions on Japan. Man, so. version one Law is still so good. It's crazy. That's six plus. Well, he's six plus wildin. There's a lot of. It's very useful. Yeah. Oh. Luffy law. Get up. Oh, okay. carrot. I would say. Yeah, no, she's she got the the uh, Wano version on Japan. So he he is really good. And yeah, think... he, again, he supports with Corazon. So it's like, uh, uh, you know. Here you go. Who's got the worst ones? Kizaru. Ah, <laughs> uh, there. rest. There's that argument. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kizaru. Yeah, I think that's an easy Someday. choice. It has to be Law, I guess. Yeah. Law or Doffy yeah, probably have the best set. Ooh, uh, a Kainu. A Kainu is really a Ooh, unit. Oh, actually. Uh, yeah. okay. I, I still prefer Law units over Kainu. I, I gotta say, um, this, the V1 of Kainu 6 Plus is like really strong. I never yes. even realized. Yeah. He was slept on as well, I believe. Well, Ace has like, some okay units. Ace has some decent units. Recently, well. actually, I Sabo has them. some good units, actually. Sure. Yeah, Sabo's yeah, a good call. Sabo. Sabo has some really good that The, um, TM Sabo, that's just cracking. He's a Kazuna Sabo as well. Sabo yeah. Koala, V3 Sabo, V2 Sabo, V1 Judge, Sabo, all Judge of those has ones. Some good units too. Judge has some really good units too. Okay. Limited okay. Rare Crew Judge. Yeah. Even the Rage Judge. Yeah. Rage. Yeah, Rage. 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 Rage Judge. Yeah. All right. Why does oh. Rage have good <laughs> units, Joba, other than the obvious? Uh, well, she's got, I mean, she doesn't have very many, but like the ones that she has gotten, like the summer one was actually good utility wise. The five plus V one one was pretty damn good. The I don't even know, actually know what the V two germans do to be All honest. Right, I never so really use them. What about my boy Kanakuri though? <laughs> yeah, Kanakuri. Okay, what? Oh, <laughs> that boy's busted. Oh. Yeah. You guys, Kata you guys remember Halloween Kata? Halloween Kata was yeah, crazy. Yeah, he's good as. Yeah. It's about mm-hmm. the color Kata's average. Oh, uh, yeah. It really didn't dirty there. Yeah. Good, su- yeah. good support, I think. I-, I might be thinking of Smoothie. Yeah, uh, he has a. I think he has support to like a lot of stats to the Big Mom Pirates. Yes. Yeah. yeah Ace has some pretty good units too. Ace, yeah. yeah. Especially the new Halloween Ace, man. Oh, we can't pass up our, our Lord and Savior buggy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> has he has he even gotten any new units since uh, since like his six plus? Uh, I don't think of any. He's he's. I think he's. New. Did they make a stampede buggy? No, they didn't. Surprisingly, I swear they made one. No, they didn't. Okay, well there you go. Well, that was my, that was my last. That was a Fortnite or something. No, they didn't. Oof. They really should have. They didn't even make a Buena Festa unit. That's, hey, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, really weird. I thought they would have done that. Yeah. No, you gotta Hello. save content, man, for later. No, okay, <laughs> we're, know, we're, gi- we're giving them ideas. <laughs> we're giving them <laughs> ideas, man. They're gonna. So from this episode, we've gathered that we're gonna have six sockets. We're gonna have a limit break plus plus. We're gonna have uh, seven, stars. seven stars. Yeah, that's true. Uh, stacking ink, limit break materials. We're gonna have more limit break materials. You heard it all here first on episode seven of Good Great Perfect. But that does wrap it up for us today. Thank you so much for Boris for coming out. We do really do appreciate. It. I think the community appreciates you. You know, hearing your voice again. You haven't, you haven't been around for a minute, so <laughs> I do appreciate here. taking some of your um, some time out of your busy, busy yeah, schedule. Sure. But, sure. you know, is there anything you want to plug or you want to update the community on right now? Um, yeah, like I said, just tell me what kind of stuff you want to um, you want to see, guys, and I, I'll try to make some of those videos. Um, shout out to, like, the, the few guys that are still subbing to my Twitch channel. Right? We are oh, here. We are but here. Shout out to you guys. I'll, I'll definitely be back streaming at some point. 
Uh, Hopefully, if he gets the new, the new, guys. if he gets the new place, that shit. Christmas, yeah. Christmas. I'll try to do a Christmas stream. I'll be actually flying home for Christmas. Oh, nice. Hey, there we go. Uh, so I'll be doing a Christmas stream. I don't know Christmas, but somewhere between Christmas and New Year's, I'll get a awesome. stream in. You know, down below, I'm gonna leave Boris's Twitter, his Twitch, and his YouTube. You know, make sure you subscribe, follow all that good kind of stuff to him. You never know anything's gonna happen, so you know you might as well be subscribed just in case. Um, big shout out to all my co-hosts, Todd, Joba, Knight. Thank you for joining me once again on another crazy adventure in yeah. GGP land. I really do appreciate yeah. your uh, yeah. thanks to all the questions. Um, we got through quite a bunch from that Twitter thread, but please just send us more questions. Like, like I said, or I've mentioned maybe a trillion times, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, based upon OPTC. It can be based upon whatever you want. Just ask us questions. Yeah, I- Happy to I'd like to know, well. like, I'd like to know, like, what people thought because we we talked a lot about Pokemon, and you know, this is a uh, being an OPTC podcast. I want to know if people like that or not because not everyone everyone plays OPTC that listens to us, but I don't know if everyone plays Pokemon. Yeah, you know, so yeah. I'd like to know if you know you guys. No, like that's, that. Yeah, that's a really good point. So if you guys want us to start maybe branching out to new things, get us a thousand subscribers, and we might start doing that. But you know, do leave us feedback, like Todd said at the very very start of the episode. We want to hear feedback, good and bad, about, you know, if you enjoy these episodes, you join the structure, you enjoy us just rambling about random stuff, do you prefer it to be more structured with the news and stuff like that as well? But, you know, let us know on Twitter, in the YouTube comments. I saw a few people asking on YouTube where we leave questions. Leave them down below in the YouTube comment section or uh, tag us on uh, Twitter. Yeah, at tag at GGGP, at GGP podcast. Uh, GGGGGGP. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, at GGP podcast on Twitter. Also, Dill runs the Instagram. You know, when we're doing, when he's on the podcast, generally he'll have a live question thing going up at that time. So you can follow us on Twitter, uh, on Instagram, sorry, at the same thing, at GGP podcast there as well. But without further ado, we will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Bye. Peace. Peace.